in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed praise the lord so we will be looking at what the lord is speaking to us as a family of faith and all those who are connected um there are hundreds and thousands of people connected to this ministry prophetically spiritually and so we're only a minute fraction of the people that we minister to who are connecting and uh, we give god all the praise Genesis chapter 1, please. Let's start off very quickly. Genesis chapter 1. Genesis 1, we'll look at 14 and 15. I just want to establish um, up front tonight the necessity of a prophetic word. Now, I know that there are people who um, think the yearly prophetic words are just cliches ministries copying themselves and um, a lot of people have even argued that there's no such thing as that um, that's an error the Bible says in 14 it says and God said let there be light in the firmament of the heavens to divide day from night and let the lights be for what for signs for seasons for days and for years 15 and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so the bible says a light can give you a sign and that light is a revelation so god gives us revelation as a light to signify what he intends to do so that we can align with what god is doing hallelujah oftentimes you will hear the prophet say according to the time of life this and this and that would happen um, when prophetic words are just coined out of pressure it becomes useless and the people just believe a lie but when prophetic words are birthed from the place of prayer and encounter it represents the dealings of God it represents his intention for a people that which he desires to bring before people and then they learn how to align so that they can receive the fullness hallelujah the bible says that we will run it says write the vision it says make it plain in other words explain it let it be very clear take away ambiguity from it it says so that he will run that reads it hallelujah praise the lord the lord declared unto us that this is a year of multiplied grace and influence brothers and sisters this is not a cliche there is no time please listen there is no time in the body of Christ where the church of the Lord Jesus Christ has agreed over the things that the Lord will be doing in a season as it is right now. Most times we argue with ourselves over different perspectives. Somebody is saying, God is, this is a year of something. Another person is talking and you are wondering, you mean God really said this? You know, there are all kinds of differences but then you would notice if you've studied the body of Christ, especially the prophetic words that have come, they have different linguistic expressions, but the essence is communicating the very same thing that God is doing. And so for me, I am particularly very blessed and impressed with the body of Christ and the ability of men of God to really align to the spirit and hear that which the Holy Ghost has to communicate hallelujah Ezekiel chapter 47 Ezekiel 47 
we'll read verse 2 to 5 and then we'll read verse 9 Ezekiel 47 Holy, holy, holy and the people say holy, holy, holy Lord you are holy, holy, holy and the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. Lord, we say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. Is the Lord, is the Lord God Almighty. The Lord God Almighty, the earth is full of your glory. Lord, our lives are full of your glory. One more time, and the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people cry, Holy, Holy, Holy. Then he brought me out of the way of the gate, not words, and led me about the way without unto the utter gate that looked eastward. And behold, there ran out waters on the right side. Verse 3. And when the man that had a line in his hands went forth eastward, he measured a thousand cubits. And he brought me through the waters. And he says, the waters were to my ankles. Verse 4. He says, again, after a season of proving, after a season of dealing, he saw a need to step up the grace. And he said, and again he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters. He says, and the waters were to my knees. Verse 4 again, we're not done. Verse 4, please help us. Again, he measured a thousand cubits and he brought me through and the waters were to my loins. Verse 5. Afterwards, he measured a thousand and he said it was a river that I could not pass over. He says, For the waters were risen, waters to swim in, a river that could not be passed over. Let's read verse 9. Verse 9. He says, And it shall come to pass. Listen. The implication of the encounter with that river. He says, it shall come to pass that everything that liveth, which moveth, whithersoever the river shall come, he says, shall live. Then he says, and there shall be a very great multitude of fish, because these waters shall come hither, for they shall be healed, and everything shall live, whither the river cometh. That means it's, it's a river that will bring effect. It will be so striking. The Bible says whenever the river comes to a region, everything that is supposed to be alive, that is dead, that river has capacity to bring it back to life. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people say, Holy, Holy. Holy. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. Hallelujah. The last one month has been a season of profound encounters for me. Profound encounters. Um, I cannot begin to describe to you the experiences that I've had in the last one month. Very profound and 
deep spiritual experiences please pay attention and the lord began to show me so many things not just the prophetic word but direction for the body of christ that will be able to bring alignment we thank god as a ministry for what he has used this ministry to do to influence the life of people across this nation we thank god for the testimonies but let me tell you something compared to what god is about to do what you have seen are just shadows in the name of jesus christ i want you to be a believer this year make up your mind to believe every word that comes from the mouth of god the bible says they had the word just like we did it says but the word did not profit them make up your mind that you will not argue with the word of god this year don't sit down and be philosophical how shall these things be the river will just pass you by you've got to be determined this year and say lord every word that comes from you i will receive it and insist that it produces results in my life hallelujah god is a god that walks on earth with times and seasons and he has communicated to us as a family of faith that he intends to multiply the grace the anointing the access that he has given us and to give us influence grace talks of empowerment grace talks of access grace talks of ability grace talks of the anointing the very ability of god it's important for us to understand this the grace of god talks of his capacity his anointing his ability that force that compels results scripture lets us know that grace can be multiplied that grace is in measures listen please the bible says grace and peace be multiplied unto you grace and peace be multiplied that means a man can grow in grace a ministry can grow in grace prophetically revealing to us in ezekiel 47 that he started with the river at the level of the ankle then to the knees then to the loins and then it was a river that covered the prophet and he says that river flowed to regions and every territory that river entered it began to cause changes it caused that which was dead to come alive i want you to know that grace can be multiplied every level you have seen in god is only a shadow of the possibility that is in god are we together every level of grace you have seen if you think you saw the power of god in 2015 watch what god does this year if you think you saw miracles signs and wonders if you think you saw the dispensing of the word of god watch what he does this year grace can multiply grace can multiply and let me tell you something when grace multiplies it has a physical effect there is an evidence there's no such thing as grace multiplying and you are the only one who knows no when grace multiplies everything around you responds to the effect of that multiplication grace can multiply grace can multiply that's why you can see a man and track his life and know that grace has multiplied you can see a man of god and see the dispensing of the grace of god upon his life and you can study the track record of that growth you can know that a man started at this level but at this current level he's functioning at an altitude in the spirit that was not what he just like you can know that a man has backslidden you can know that a man was functioning at this dimension of grace but right now, he is still functioning. But you know that there has been a lag in the operation of the Spirit. Grace and peace be multiplied. The energy of God. The ability of the Spirit. The power of the Holy Ghost that can be resident within a man. Compelling results. He said it can multiply. Everything that is alive grows. If the power of God is alive, it can grow in a man. 
Hallelujah. The healing anointing can multiply. The wisdom of God can multiply. The grace for finances can multiply. Access to deep realities in the spirit can multiply. The eyes to see and the ears to hear can multiply. And this is the season God intends to multiply everything. Every operation of the spirit you have seen. Hallelujah. Influence is the ability the ability to compel the ideology of a man the ideology of a people the ideology of a territory the ability to compel the ideology of a territory to bend towards a particular direction without using human force and cruelty is called influence. If I'm able to do something to you that compels you to adjust to my paradigm of thinking, that's an influence. I like the, 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 um, the um, poster that was created by the media department. You see that match the, the matches one having the fire and all he needs to do is go close enough he will compel all the rest to catch that fire we call that influence the ability to cause men to buy into your ideologies to institutionalize your ideology such that even those who do not agree with you will be compelled to walk in that reality this is what influence is the Bible says it was noised abroad that Jesus was in town. And all kinds of people found themselves around. Those who didn't like him, those who were critics, those who were indifferent, those who were passionately loyal. For reasons they could not explain, they found themselves. The Bible says he went up the mountain, they still followed him. That's influence. Listen, the key to kingdom advancement it's not just evangelism as we know. The key to kingdom advancement is influence. The ability to bring a territory under like a spell. You bring a territory under an understanding. You compel people to think in a certain way. You compel the economy of a territory to operate in a certain trajectory. It's called influence. Did you know that there is a level of influence you can exert on a territory such that even those who do not believe in God will be forced to adopt certain languages in their English because that becomes the language of communication it's called influence once upon a time there were no networks in Nigeria not one aside from Nitel but a communications company came and marketed a proposal and right now it has become an addiction People literally cry when their phones get missing and they are on their way to go and do welcome back they, they have they have influenced you so much they created a package called welcome back in other words when you run away I create a provision to come under my spell now that's influence there are people in the village who cannot spell Jesus but they know coca-cola influence Every tribe in the world knows Coca-Cola. The name is Coca-Cola. No tribe calls anything by their own. It's called Coca-Cola. The three most influential names, brands, right, in the world, although it's been upgraded now. Number one is Jesus. Number two, Michael Jackson, before he died. Number three, Coca-Cola. Think about that. Right now, the most influential brand in the world is Google. Apple, followed by Google. The kingdom of God will have to ascend in such a way and a manner that it will no longer just be one-on-one -on -one evangelism. The territory forces people. All roads must lead to the cross. All roads, no matter how people try to do it. 
we come to a point where our thoughts become that which is aligned to the kingdom the songs become that which is aligned to the kingdom if they must crack any joke it must have a paradigm with the kingdom you won't do see the difference between the holy spirit and saddam hussein is this both of them try to exact influence but one brings his influence with physical threats are we together but the holy ghost reveals to you the excellency of his way are you getting the point now he shows you the all surpassing superiority of walking with him there is a level give us micah chapter 4 please one and two and then i begin to explain to us very quickly the things that the lord has put in my heart micah chapter 4 one and two it's a scripture that speaks powerfully about the prophetic state of the church can we read it together one to read but in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the lord shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills it says and people shall what flow to it listen he never said they will call the people look at this he never said they will call the people something will happen upon that mountain that will force people literally it's a compelling power they will flow to it he says and how many nations please help me how many nations he says and many nations shall come and say come let us go where will the evangelism happen among themselves an ability will make them to start drawing themselves and say come let us go up to the mountain of the lord to the house of the god of jacob he says and he will what teach us he will change our mindsets he will adjust our ideologies he says and we will walk in his path for the lord shall go forth from zion and the word of the lord from jerusalem this is what will happen let me tell you the church is not a weakling there is an energy and the ability of the ecclesia god's very church we will arise in a mighty way and shock creation the key is not to take the world i see a lot of people dreaming and say i'm going to take every world i tell them that's not how when god says you will take over the earth the key is to create a prototype of your agenda in a territory that's the key the kingdom always spreads like a seed there are people who have not done well where God, where they are domiciled and they are thinking of, no, 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 no. The key is to plant a prototype of your ideology and that becomes the platform, the template from which you will influence other territories. You must. Jesus Christ came to Israel, Jerusalem, created a prototype of his life and then compelled certain people called the sent ones and began to send them through regions so everywhere they went they were envoys of those ideologies backed up by the government that sent them this is the key to strategic kingdom advancement let me tell you something it's not just by traveling planting a church in london uk there's a time and a place for that but the greatest key to maximum influence is to be able to represent the ideology of, a, of the Christ so strategically in a region that every other region can look at it as a template. That's how Hillsong spread abroad. They stood in Australia and did something so striking. This year, Zaria will be a place of pilgrimage. I tell you, you will see week after the same way you go to Jerusalem. Write this down. You will see people trooping in just waiting because it is the mountain of the lord the place where god has chosen to build his habitation it's an election of grace are we together isaiah chapter 60 Let's start from verse 1, but my focus is 3. Isaiah 60. Arise, he says, shine, for thy light is come, 
and the glory of the lord is risen upon you verse 2 for behold darkness shall cover the earth and cross darkness the people it says but the lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen listen listen let me tell you something don't ever let anything you read on the newspaper scare you this year god has shown me this year it's a glorious year for the church write it down believe me i'm telling you it's it's not a it, it has never been a thing of confusion about the drop in oil price and all of these things this is something we said years ago and we're insulted for it but let me tell you you will see the glory of the church emerge see satan moves by ministering fear fear is a spirit are we together now and the bible tells us that as a man thinketh so he is and so the media while in a in in a state of sincerity to address what they call the state of the nation have gone to market an ideology that makes people think oh this year i don't know about you but this year is a year for me of multiplied grace and influence the bible says when you see darkness start rejoicing it's a sign there will be a separation this year like egypt and goshen that on one side there was darkness but then on another side they were not even aware of what was happening ah don't call what they call conspiracy conspiracy he said when men say that means you are not men when men say there is a casting down those who have been altered by ability of the spirit will say there is a lifting up i refuse to make any declaration that is against the word of god no government no newspaper will deceive me into agreeing with the agenda of darkness for behold the darkness shall cover the earth listen it says and gross darkness the people but upon but the lord shall arise upon you and his glory shall be seen upon you oh hallelujah let's read verse 3 this is my scripture goodness it says and gentiles shall what stop it didn't say i will go and call them Makatala sotaya. something will happen upon my life this year the wisdom of the spirit the multiplication of his grace he said it will compel gentiles they will come by themselves gentiles will come not to you to your light something you carry will compel attention it has nothing to do with whether they like you or not there is a level of prosperity you can enter there is a level of the anointing access to the dimensions of the spirit it will compel nations to come and then it gets better it says and their kings those that represent governments those that represent mountains it says their kings will come your light will start rising listen was it not in your bible when solomon's glory started rising every other person came but the queen of sheba refused to come she had a pride but that light was so bright the queen of sheba had to take gifts and come and say who is this solomon listen the bible says when she came to solomon she saw the arrangement of his table and saw everything she said half of what was told me he said i was not told half of what i'm seeing now he said when she saw everything there was no spirit in her It's God's ability, God's ability is working in me, is working in me, it's God's ability, God's ability is working in me, shake up a bada bosoto balada. It's God's ability. It's God's ability. It is God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Hallelujah. Please sit down. Mm, we are believers in this place. We are believers in this place listen 
this is the year you must take God seriously when God speaks he's not your lecturer he's not suggesting when God speaks he's not your boss in office when God speaks he looks at himself first whether he can defend what he's about to say and then he will say it he speaks on the strength of his might have you not read that God looked in heaven to find who was greater than him because he wanted to make a dangerous statement that he could not lie so he was looking for a witness that was greater than him and not finding any he swore by himself what is our expectation in this season some of these things i'm going to be reading out were the exact words of the lord as it came to me the lord told me that in this season he will be granting us supernatural access to the following please write supernatural access to number one revelations there will be a depth of revelation we will break into a spiritual fountain of revelation hallelujah and this is the scripture of the lord in fact it, it was before the scripture came it was an impression upon my heart and the bible tells us remember in scripture listen please remember in scripture when the bible says two men at a place called emmaus they were walking and jesus was with them but they did not know he was the one that the word is near you does not mean you understand it that you are reading it they were with jesus the christ the living word the resurrected christ he was walking with them but they did not know he was the one listen many people just carry bible and think they are growing spiritually others think because they are looking at it they convince themselves that they are growing others have memory verses and crime verses which is not bad but they think because of it is a sign that they are growing and the bible says when they were at table he broke the bread and their eyes were open listen this is the year god will give us access to light light illumination illumination it says you will arise and shine for your light is come not because you are tired of sitting down there is a light that god will give you that will drive out certain darkness in your life forever forever he will give us access to anointings there are graces there are abilities of the spirit brothers and sisters please hear me there is nobody who is doing great things for god who does it by the strength of the flesh no no there is an anointing that is responsible for every result you see in the kingdom there is an anointing it's not about struggling there is a grace your own labor is to enter that dimension but once you are there you are there are we together there is a level of grace that god wants to multiply in your life not just please personalize this thing i'm taking out time to teach it because i want you to believe it you must believe that in my life there is a level of grace there is a level of the anointing the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference it doesn't make the difference the anointing is the difference a handkerchief with the anointing upon all of a sudden becomes supernatural a donkey with an anointing upon it all of a sudden becomes a prophet oh come on the anointing is never trivialize the anointing and the effect of it in your life there are doors only certain kinds of graces can open are we together we must believe God to multiply anointings in our lives God will give us access to people very important God will give us access to resources God will give us access to opportunities to the end that we will birth greater levels of salvation encounters transformation and revival he will supply all these things to the end that will be able to birth through the spirit greater levels 
of salvation greater levels of encounters greater levels of transformation greater levels of revivals there's an army rising up there's an army rising up in this very season there's an army rising up they will break every chain break every chain they will break every chain Please write it down quickly there are five areas that i want us to focus on this year please listen five areas very quickly for us to maximize the prophetic word that the lord has given there are five areas that the lord would want us to focus and pay attention number one on our spiritual growth the first area of focus that you must contend in the spirit that there must be multiplication of grace is on your spiritual growth please listen this year there will be multiplied grace for notable spiritual progress are, are you listening to me that you can look by december and know that you 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 entered a dimension in the spirit there must be notable spiritual growth in your life this year please make sure you write it down god is releasing grace for notable spiritual growth you must increase your passion for god i'm teaching you how to maximize the demands on your own path you must you must take advantage of this grace and increase your passion for god increase your passion for the things of god and increase your passion for the house of god this is not the year where you miss koinonia anyhow for reasons say there was rain or my cloth there was no iron to i no 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 there must be a desperation for god a desperation for the things of god a desperation for the house of god it was david that said i'd rather be a doorkeeper in your house have you read that scripture that he so passionately loved the house of god listen the foundation of the quality experience of the prophetic word of the lord this year is hinged upon your increased passion for god god told me something and i'm going to say it exactly as he said this is what he said he said tell my people to give me time and take me seriously i wrote it down tell my people to give me time god is asking for time this year listen because all you have in your life is time Whoever you give your time to, you have given your life to. So don't say you have given your life to God and not give him time. This is not the year of miserly time. You, you, you sleep for 10 hours, use 10 hours watching films, which is alright. But this is the year you must invest in his presence. Invest in his presence like a business and see the returns that come to you. increased passion for God your passion must increase for spiritual activities prayer and fasting the study of the word this is not the year for laziness is God speaking to us your prayer life must jack back if 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 you know your prayer life is dying please don't let anybody deceive you there is trouble are we together if anything that attacks your prayer life in 2016 is the greatest attack from the kingdom of darkness men ought always to pray Luke 18 verse 1 he spake a parable to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint prayer is the place where people generate strength and capacity you can know when a man has the absence of prayer there is nothing that can replace the energy that prayer brings please give god time tell your neighbor give god time this year talk to him talk to him seriously give god time it's a strong admonition say give god time in 2016.
don't be busy looking for money running around looking for money looking for job thank god for those things there is a place for them but brothers and sisters i call you to a place where you will hit the jackpot for this year invest in his presence the presence of god will give you what money will never give you i know we used to nod when i say but many of us don't believe it his presence prayer and fasting don't eat away your destiny this year prayer and fasting quality fasting done with revelation not compulsion to prove to people no 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 don't allow religion to destroy you this year but you must pray brothers and sisters maximize your night time i've taught you this thing it's just that many isiba many of us don't take seriously the word of the lord that comes if you are obedient to the truth of god's word you'll be amazed to see the results in your life maximize your night times i have learned this is a mystery of tremendous spiritual power the bible says and the evening came and the morning he never mentioned morning before evening there is a mystery of the night time you are alone with worship even if it's for 30 minutes people are snoring around and you are praying lord i establish realities i command my morning i decree and declare it's my year of supernatural influence it's my year of multiplied grace and you are speaking and inspiration is coming and you are writing you soak yourself in worship you create like a spiritual magnetic field you get up in the morning and you are compelling things that people cannot understand do you not know that the morning is like a woman that has a womb go and read your bible it was a prophet that let us know that things can be planted in the womb of the morning it gives the morning the character of a woman and just like a man plants a seed in the womb of his wife and expects her to deliver the delivery time is your daytime the night is when you impregnate your day with prophecy and allow it to deliver to you realities many people let me tell you the engine room of real power is to pray your secret place especially night prayers and you walk in the morning and you encounter miracles and breakthroughs he told job has thou commanded thy morning not has thou commanded thy night hallelujah This year, you must invest in quality teaching and materials. Please. Get all the koinonia messages you can. Some of us pride ourselves around distributing koinonia messages to people, which is very good, but never listen to it ourselves. You carry it around and you are happy to be a, a, an, a, an evangelist. You are distributing it around. Ah, you mean you know Apostle? Ah, ah Apostle, I can't even call him now. You are busy marketing which is okay but you are dying don't forget the bible says let it not be that i haven't preached i myself god knows how many times i sit down and soak in koinonia messages i'm blasting in tongues and listening to them and where apostle joshua selman is prophesying i get down on my knees and i'm receiving it for my life please take your destiny seriously there is a message for everything every major thing you are looking for you find out that the flesh is growing in you there is a message locate one flog yourself back to alignment you are dying spiritually find a message you are having one a get miracle service message and fast forward it to the place where prophecy started and see please engage the word this year tell your neighbor engage the word do it engage the word the same way you engage a man in a conversation put pressure on the word to produce results for you don't sit down and say oh, if god wants it to work i've been doing it no you are not work it work it work out your salvation with fear and trembling so your spiritual life i'm determined this year that my spiritual life will enter a dimension 
that has never been god has shown me the possibilities he can go with me if i'm if i'm interested and he asked me whether i'm interested what do you think my answer is my goodness lead me lord i will follow lead me lord i will go you have called me and i will answer lead me lord i will go god is calling us to a higher level never be satisfied with where you are are you hearing what i'm saying please write it down write it i refuse to be satisfied with where i am i know you've seen some results in your spiritual life you've seen the prophetic grace you've seen uh, an anointing you've seen some level of results but it's child's play compared to where god wants to take you if you are interested and you stay through with god he will surprise you this year james chapter 4 verse 8 says that when we draw near to him he says he will draw near to us when you draw near to him you must take that step with expectation the second area of focus this year for us to maximize this prophetic word is the area of mental transformation mental transformation romans chapter 12 verse 2 listen listen i've taught us again and again that the quality of a man's life is at the mercy of his ideology this year i want us to insist that we are going to lay aside every stumbling block we've held on to that is stopping us please those outside i hope we're listening can you shout hallelujah those outside praise the lord make sure that you pay the price take advantage of the grace of god and contend for transformation the bible says and be not conformed to this world the greek word aeon the thinking pattern that comes with this age be not conformed it says refuse it reject it reject their way of talking reject their behavior reject their way of responding to life it's a choice he says be not conformed to this world then he says but be ye transformed right transform how by the renewing of your mind that's what the bible says that we are transformed not by wishing by the renewing of our minds focus on sustaining a renewed and transformed mind focus don't say it's like that everybody in your family that poverty mindset must die a natural death this year you must reject it let them hate you no problem reject it don't let people carry their failure and bring it upon you as an impartation don't let anybody tell you financial prosperity is not important don't let anybody tell you doing well in your life is not important you never replace one dimension of kingdom progress for another you can know god and still be poor are we together you can be praying in tongues and still be a bad husband there must be balance that's the true church that is shown to us in revelations 19. You can listen to my message the full gospel i've always frowned at the exaggeration of the body of christ emphasizing one truth to the detriment of another so i'm teaching you on spiritual growth and forgetting the fact that you have children to feed you have school fees to pay no god is not that kind of god there must be a balance he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breath equal in depth no exaggeration that's the true church i will never be the preacher who will mislead you to emphasize one area of spiritual growth at the detriment of another you will get balance so that it is okay to serve god and be rich are we together it is okay to serve god and be a ceo and lead we keep preaching all this um religious messages in church that move people closer to god and draw them away from the world and then we become victims of the decisions of those who control these mountains 
but in this season we reject it we are going like daniel's with the anointing of the spirit but we will still enter the system the great commission was go ye into the world not carry a truck to the streets that's all right but he said enter the system go ye into cosmos and influence it with an ideology that's the gospel but you can never rise above and beyond a transformed mind please believe me when i tell you your level of right, life right now is what your mindset has produced for you this is uncomfortably true you must believe it there is something about your understanding that is keeping you where you are from entitlement mentality that makes us believe it is government that should pay us right to those who believe that all they need to succeed in life is to get a job is that really true a job is wonderful i pray for you at the end of the service i'll pray for you but let me tell you a job cannot fund your assignment you know that right a job cannot build a house for you a job can only help you to barely survive exactly what satan wants barely survive so that you never hear god you never sow seeds you never give you are so busy making money you don't have time for the agenda of god i reject that kind of living in the name of jesus christ mary said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man oh god i'm i'm i'm, I'm strange to this kind of experience but god said the power of the highest that's how it will happen so don't sit down wondering will god really change my story will god really wipe my tears are you kidding you've forgotten the god who can change people he said by this time tomorrow listen i believe god oh i told you in this year make sure you insist on being a believer that i receive the word of god don't let the enemy come and steal the seed which is the word of god in january we can all believe two weeks after now you find a lot of people frowning at their convictions as though they were playing games in church mental transformation you must lay down wrong and limiting ideologies lay them down ideologies that let you think that you cannot be a leader where you are ideologies that train you to do things that are not consistent with the ways of god is devilish and you must lay it down my father is wicked it's not only your father many fathers have been wicked but people triumph through that wickedness are we together nobody likes me you are not alone you are never alone you are plenty that people don't like you have to stop giving excuses tell your neighbor say stop giving excuses stop explaining why you should not move forward there are so many people they will explain to you if only i had space i had a room to myself my prayer life will be back now that you don't have what will you do with the one that is there you must create a strategy i would have fasted but the truth is the way my nutrition is i'm not even sure it's not like i have i understand the program it's just as it comes no those things are flimsy excuses take away those limiting mindsets i live a very supernatural life i don't see impossibility in my life and i don't say it just as a, a, a way of motivation i really do i don't see impossibilities in my life i'm only limited by the voice of the spirit the bible said can two walk together except they be agree you and the holy spirit cannot work together if you don't agree with him god is telling you this is what i open up before you are you willing and you say holy spirit is just because you didn't grow up in my family uh, hey. lay your hands on your head and pray for one minute and say lord everything that is resident in my mind that is not of you must give way please pray please pray for as he thinketh in his heart so he is please pray pray out every limiting belief oh i believe god for anything he can take me anywhere 
he can lift me from the dunghill this i believe he can crown me with honor and glory this i believe he can bring an anointing in my life i refuse to let my background limit me i refuse to let the awareness of where i come from and what has happened in my life limit me those outside are you praying lay your hands on your head i reject it every negative mindset tying down my life every negative mindset tying down my business every negative mindset tying down my education are you praying this is the year i call the devil a liar i reject him i reject him i reject that word it's a choice i choose to believe god i choose to believe god hallelujah don't ever sit back and allow the devil destroy you listen everything you see did not just happen by mistake it takes a man to see what others are not seeing to go where others will not go this is the year don't let people talk you down and lie to you it will take your faith you must believe believe in god and commit yourself don't be afraid of making mistakes are you hearing what i'm saying don't be afraid of making mistakes don't live in this this carefree world where everybody say take it easy and they kill you god is inspiring you to start up a business that can bail your family and people are saying take it easy you know the way nigeria is well please let me tell you something if you if you talk and live like them you will die like them are we together somebody looks at you as a student and says you are 1.5 are you aware of that yet every time you sleep you see god doing great things in your life how shall these things be this is the year to believe and one way to believe is to run away from all those naysayers there are people who are negative by default they are your enemies this year make sure you run away from them intentionally you say why are you running away from us it's like you are running it's not like i am running i'm leaving you i intend to grow listen listen all this loyalty to people who will destroy your life we were childhood friends so what i intend to grow any man that is not seeing what i'm seeing should not be working with me are we together come let me use you for you say okay you are your cameraman come watch this turn all right move forward let's all move forward go go, go. Move forward look at this his forward is not my forward are we together we are all attempting to move forward it just so happens that for some reason he's unwilling to bend to my direction I'm not your enemy i'm just not going where you are going i'm not saying where you are going is wrong i'm just saying it's not my address are we together please this is the year you must sustain courage to look at people and say no I, i'm not a musician i'm not against your music ministry but god didn't call me to sing please don't force me to do rehearsal when i'm sleeping i'm a businessman i love your music may god anoint you i will encourage you when i make the money i will support your album but for now let me focus listen listen i know we are laughing you think i'm playing this came out of the secret place days of intense fasting with full concentration not laughing around it's amazing how many people never make it because of distraction you're on your way going to do something you are there singing and god is saying i already prepared people see when you are not in your assigned place you will always feel secondary you will find everybody there and not find a space for yourself you now get up and say i'm into logistics you want to be like aaron it's not working later you say i think i like her look settle down this year re-edit your mind and find where god has placed you and died here 
tell yourself it is to die, I will die here. Stop escorting men visionlessly. Even as a pastor, this is the year to know exactly what God told you. Your assignment is not the Great Commission. Are we together? The Great Commission is for everybody. Set to and find what is the grace, what anointing. God, what did you tell me? Oh, 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 Sing it unto the Lord. Oh, 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 oh. aside still on point two let's hurry up lay aside wrong behavioral traits we're still on that point two mental transformation first peter 2 verse 1 please give it to us quickly first peter 2 verse 1 anger envy pride bitterness dishonor all these traits that have kept you down this is the year you make up your mind I'm not gossiping about people because I found out everybody I'm gossiping about has moved forward and left me alone this year I want to move forward at least let somebody talk about me the Bible says wherefore doing what laying aside laying aside all malice and guile and hypocrisies and envies and what evil speaking there are some people when you sit down close to them five minutes your spirit is down because they, they have what we call evil speakings always bad news always what someone said no you must change you must change anger you must lay it aside this year god open a door your anger closed it god open a door your anger closed it your husband was coming your anger drove him your wife was almost arriving your anger sent her away this year make up your mind that anger will not destroy my destiny there are people who do, you were at the verge of breakthroughs but this anger rage that's how we are in our family ask my mother we're all like that when we are angry just stay away please i want you to maximize this multiplied grace the one you had last year it has increased now so there's no excuse maximize the grace and say no to anger because it will destroy you envy envy you never do anything with your life you watch people have results and you are looking for what they do let me tell you something about envy it never affects the one who you are talking about or the one you are envious it's, it's such a frustrating venture it doesn't touch the bear even if it at least let it touch it it's better to fight directly fighting you sit down and tie yourself down and then the unfortunate thing is the bible says the part of the justice as a shining light so for how long will you hold it envy pride this year as a family of faith and as individuals we must run away from pride brothers and sisters pride is a killer are we together believing you can make it without god looking down on others pushing people down to show you are successful no lay it down bitterness there are people who just say i'm not happy why say this world is a sad world hey you have a long journey a long journey to go say i'm just sad why is everywhere like this the place is moody and the devil says this is exactly what i'm looking for this year i choose to be joyful the bible says, rejoice always it didn't say rejoice when you have money rejoice always and in case you forget again i say rejoice number three the third area the lord wants us to focus on is our health first corinthians 6 verse 12 to 20 we don't have the time to read it our health the bible tells you authoritatively that your body is the temple of the lord jesus christ right everyone say it say my body 
is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Say one more time. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Listen. It honors God for you to take care of your body. Are we together? This year, the way you punished your body in 2015, you have to rethink this year. Are we together? It's very important. You must live a healthy and a balanced life. No laziness and no overstressing yourself. That's the balance. There are those who are sluggish and lazy. Spiritually, it flows down. Intellectually, it now culminates physically. Inertia for everything. It takes you two days to do what five minutes can do. Laziness is still an insult to the body. And then overstressing yourself. Hallelujah. When you read about the wealth revival, you will know that what killed the pioneer of the wealth revival was not necessarily any demonic attack. He literally stretched himself to death. No matter how busy you are, I believe that if I'm not mistaken, I probably will, may be one of the busiest people among us here. But you must still create time to rest. You may not have quantity of time but you must have quality. Eat well. God is faithful. Please eat well this year. Don't punish yourself. You need to add one more ingredient that you just look and say, if I add this, no. What if you don't add it and you die? You see, you, you think intelligently. This year, please, please. We are at different levels but pay serious attention to your health. When you really fall sick, you will find out that all you have is time and your life. Are we together? You can have all the money in this world if you play with your health. MOG, all the men of God here, listen, please. Find time to rest. Walk your life out, but rest. When you preach, they will mourn you for seven days and people will continue preaching. Are we together? I shared with you my story when the Lord delivered me and showed me, told me to look at the crucifix. And for the first time I realized I did not die for the world. No, my name is not Jesus. My name is Joshua Selman. The Hebrew Joshua means Jehoshua. Yes, Jesus, but I am not Jesus of Nazareth. My father was not a carpenter. And so I realized that I am an ambassador, not the Christ. So you must rest. One of the most comforting scriptures for me, because everything, once there's no scriptural backing, I don't believe it. It says, and God rested. Come on now. Not an angels, and God. Whether you call it sleeping or ceasing from work, I know that at that period, he didn't do anything. Do it. He said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. It's not just the mind to walk, it's the mind to rest. How many people go to hospitals today and doctors tell them, honestly, there's nothing wrong. They say, look, I know what, I'm the one feeling what is wrong. They say, there's nothing. We've checked. Just rest. And they go back and rest and they get up strong. Sleep is a mystery. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sleep is a mystery. God used it to do a lot of things. You can still advance the kingdom even as you rest it was in adam's sleep that eve came it was in jacob's sleep that he had a dream it was in joseph's sleep that he had direction for where to run away with jesus sometimes after you have worshiped and run around sleep your way into the revelation that you wake up with and it will move you oh yes absolutely if jacob did not sleep he would never know that was the gate of heaven his senses were alive looking for breakthrough and sleep and he saw angels if sleep will give me an encounter i will sleep because i need it i need serious encounters this year if you don't see it when you are awake why don't you sleep eat well rest well your personal hygiene th that's all right your personal hygiene i won't talk much there i'm not a medical practitioner but i'm one who intends to live long listen listen 
take care of yourself and your personal hygiene please don't say it does not matter do not let the financial situation in your pocket reflect in your life and your body you live anyhow you wear clothes smelling sweat all around you don't care you just smell it and say is it too bad your neighbor smells and no no don't just laugh i have to say it i have the responsibility to say it i've told us about that bathing you do with three quarter bucket somebody as tall as me you run and enter and while you are talking in less than one your phone is ringing before it finishes ringing five or six times you are out my brother you didn't bath i i assure you you didn't bath if that's what you have been doing it must change your health food that has spoiled you are there eat he said you are i can still warm it if it has spoiled let it go we are still going to have miracle services but i'm saying we can minimize casualties hallelujah number four number four please write number four the fourth area finances god wants us to focus and experience multiplied grace deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 9 it's our year of multiplied grace and influence and that even in the area of finances very quickly deuteronomy 29 verse 9 i'd like us to read everyone please one to read what's the condition he said keep keep therefore keep these words of this covenant and he said do them he didn't just say keep them in your jot and leave them there he said do them practice them in truth he says that you must prosper write the following to guide us through our finances number one set clear financial goals set clear financial goals this year and work with the holy spirit to achieve them i want to be rich is a mirage you you'll never get blessed that way I want to be rich will never get you rich listen there is a mystery about writing and clarity the bible says, write the vision then it says make it plain what is your financial target don't, don't write foolish childish things i need one bill no 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 no. start gradually faith is not stupidity start gradually write something that is able to take you from where you are to the next level don't say how will it come leave that that's not your business you get frustrated when you are thinking of how it will come the bible says just like you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child nor the way of the wind you don't know how the wind comes you don't know how a seed becomes bones in a child is that not a mystery that a woman carries a seed and within the space of nine months that seed becomes bones hard bones becomes teeth that can stay for for hundreds of years and not just disintegrate and leave that's a mystery he said that one leave it to god your job is to get the seed in the womb of the woman the remaining activity is god's work there are certain things about the equation of success you can never understand there is a mystery in it that is exclusive to the office of god trying to understand it will frustrate you brothers and sisters keep your own part and watch the miracle work out set clear financial goals what is your financial goal for this year as a ministry we have financial goals in my personal life i have financial goals you must set financial goals number two to experience that grace in your finances master the laws of favor and abundance master the laws that govern the release of favor and abundance favor is a law preachers have said favor happens anyhow is a lie is a lie favor it is the the dispensing of favor that happens automatically favor is initiated by exact spiritual laws that can be understood and reproduced it may take time 
see i'm human i know that it's not easy but i'm telling you if you master those laws you have built yourself out from this mess that is eating of the earth master the laws of favor you can get the teachings financial dominion part one to four and the wealthy place part one to four please make sure you get these teachings sit with them sit with them understand what god has said and then practice the laws do them he said now that you know these things he said happy are you when you do them you've got to do them you've got to do them the laws of tithing i want you to pay attention to four laws when it comes to giving this year your tithing please look up let me preach to you i want you to be determined this year that you are going to be faithful in tithing first and foremost because you love the lord and second because you want to activate the operation of the blessing in your life don't say i'm poor how much do i have how much do i give god that's your way out that's your way out never forget i already shared with us that your tithing is like a spiritual circumcision remember our teaching the wealthy place that your tithing is a spiritual circumcision that authorizes god to come and partner with you melchizedek the high priest received the tithe of abraham and did what he spoke the blessing over him and the bible says christ today is our melchizedek what was the office of melchizedek what was the function he received tithe and prophesied on the givers so jesus in that office of melchizedek receives your tithe and releases activates the blessing and i told you what the blessing is a dimension of the operation of the holy spirit that attracts to your life people opportunities and resources that's the blessing it's like an electromagnetic field when it comes upon your life everyone that comes within that circumference is compelled to respond to you in another way it's like a charm when it is on you have you heard people call you and say i don't know god just put it in my mind to bless you listen nobody gets up and blesses another person just by default if you are waiting for that you are dreaming something must compel them it's an operation of god called the father of spirits i don't want to start there are loaded messages for this year i don't want to go ahead of myself praise the lord there is a very extensive curriculum that will stretch you this year until you step into that dimension of grace very very important the father of spirits god gave me the revelation remember i taught us in james i think 226 or so he says for as the body without the spirit anything you do just from the flesh realm without a spirit component cannot work that business without the spirit will die your family without the spirit will die he said for the body without the spirit is dead so you must pay attention to practicing these laws when people in the shrine want to kill a man how do they do it they leave the man snoring in his room and use some enchantments is that true they invoke the spirit of that man you see it in nigerian films right and he appears that man is sleeping he's not even aware they called forth his spirit and separated it from his body and the spirit appeared in the shrine and then they gave the spirit instruction from today become unfaithful are we together from today become poor it's a programming upon his spirit and then the spirit returns to the body and the helpless body gets up and becomes a slave to prophecy it was not aware of that's the same way god operates he's called the father of spirits he can summon any spirit and give them instructions on your behalf so men don't know why they are just thinking about you and they say the lord led me benga the lord led me to show you ten thousand another person said ten thousand people say you are lucky no you are not lucky there is a spiritual climate responsible for that result this year force yourself to get it i must step into that climate that compels men i returned into this city i think two days ago as i was stepping in not even many people knew that i i, I think aside from the protocol not many people knew that i was around as soon as i arrived it was like a force that started compelling people apostle sir are you around i have a little gift for you 
Someone brought hamper. Someone brought this. And I said, this thing works. It's not about announcing. Oh, 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 oh. hands on your head in one minute and prophesy and say i'm breaking the back of poverty this year please pray i sensed an anointing that's why i was telling us to pray lay your hands on your head and prophesy it's a year of multiplied grace multiplied grace influenced by the spirit access to uncommon resources those outside make sure you are praying i will wipe the tears of my family this year what they could not do i'm about to arise god who had commanded light to shine out of darkness light to shine out of obscurity. Abratakata bako soprekete lekete keto ko sopredesh el protas kaparia da balarabas. Hallelujah. Psalm one one two, please, very quickly. Psalm one one two. Psalm 112. Four areas I want you to focus on. Under finances. One is your tithing. Please be determined this year. That you are going to be serious. Discipline yourself. Don't think it's a gimmick by men of God. Don't listen to those nonsense that newspapers carry around. Castigating men of God. Yes, I know that there are people who are driven whose God is their belly. But please, the mere existence of error does not mean you throw the baby and the bad water together. Don't stand. The Bible says, blessed is the man who does not walk in the, the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. He said, praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that fears the Lord, that delights greatly in his commands. Verse 2. Let's hurry up, media, help us. His seed shall be mighty. That's influence upon the earth. He says the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Verse 3. I'd like you to read it and take it as a prophecy for your life. One to go. He says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endure it forever. Wealth and riches. Wealth and riches. Wealth and riches. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. Like the ark of God came upon the house of Obed-Edom and he began to prosper. Within three months, Obed-Edom's life changed just because the ark came upon his house. Your worship offerings don't come to the house of God empty-handed. See, let me tell you. Let me tell you why many of us seem to be stranded in terms of having an offering to give or a worship offering. Because you are not a sower. The Bible says God gives seed to the sower. If you say, oh God, please, I don't want to come to your house just like that. Believe me, God gives seed to the sower. But you think when you hold that money, you are coming to give a man of God to enrich the man. No. I've told you, any man that truly fears God does not live off the resources of his members. He lives off his obedience to kingdom principles. It's a terrible thing to depend on your members to bless you. You are tied to their mood swings. The day they are ready to bless you. No. 
let me trust God for myself and believe in him as Jehovah Jireh your seeds of honor I've shown you the mystery of sowing upwards look at me when you sow downwards you walk in divine health are you hearing what I'm saying you don't sow downward to step into prosperity you sow downwards to create a track record that will speak for you in the day of obscurity but when you want to step into a level you sow upwards you must learn this don't sow carelessly don't just look around you are not a habali say go and see beggars on the street and give five beggars money and your life will change please we are not practicing shamanism this is christianity are we together you must learn god's principles seeds of honor find people that carry graces and levels that you desire so we call it sowing into an anointing you are sowing into an anointing and it authorizes you to step into that possibility learn this learn this learn to sow into anointings that will lift you into that level you must practice this consistently this year finally kingdom building i call it kingdom investment bishop oyedeko used to shout this and say it with all his heart kenneth copeland would shout this again listen i'm telling you when you commit yourself to kingdom projects it will amaze you how god will step into your life how god will step into your life kingdom building is to find a need in the house of god and participate actively in meeting that need i want to encourage you this year that you must commit yourself find needs in the body of christ workers your departments someone can sit down and say ah koinonia needs a work clock three of us let's come together and buy for the house not joshua selman and you commit and God is watching you and you authorize increase in your life the Bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth." he said there is he that withholdeth more than his meat I want to ask you a question did the body of Christ benefit from your resources last year that that may explain why you are where you are financially may God never give me any money that his house will not benefit in i say it again may it never come to me any money that comes into my life that the house of god cannot benefit in is a cost to me i'm sharing with you very deep secrets that can open your heavens there are times that people bring seeds all kinds of seeds and while i'm excited god says uh -uh, this seed is for the house of god quietly with Jesus joy not grudgingly saying God said you God is faithful was it yesterday or day before yesterday I was rejoicing someone sent the seed into my account I was smiling and the Lord told me internet transfer straight this ministry that ministry God you are faithful you won't destroy me if I die I die in your hands of let your finances be so flexible like Dr. Mike Murdoch who said that God can do business with you. I was discussing with a prof last year, one, one of our daddies in area A, and he spoke to me. He said, son, tell the Lord you want to be his treasurer. Ah, that's, that statement resonated in my head. That man sat me down and started discussing with me his work with God from childhood. And how God had been faithful in his life and in his old age he said ask the Lord that he should make you his treasurer do you know what it means for God to make you his treasurer oh God make me your treasurer in 2016 can God trust you with heaven's resources do you have the flexibility to release it when he makes demands it's my own it's my money i worked for it it's my sweat no but thou shall remember the lord your god because you can forget thou shall remember the lord your god he said for it is he that giveth thee power please give your way out of poverty this year 
sow your way out of poverty this year number five this is the last one and we'll pray relationships i want you to pay attention to this especially those outside please pay very close attention to what i'm saying i want you to invest this year invest in godly and healthy relationships do you know the reason why doors never open for many of us we don't have helpers in our lives there's nobody you have honored enough to remember you in the days of adversity there are people who don't have money but they never lack there is always someone they can cry to they are not somebody who remembers them in the days of pain listen money is not everything are you hearing what i'm saying believe me money is very important but money is not everything educate yourself enough to know that money does not do everything hallelujah went to the bank today with the protocol to collect my 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 atm my card had expired and i was going to collect it and one two one two maybe one or two of them may even be here one two one two they just made things happen for us and within minutes we're out of that place the power of relationships relationships will give you what money cannot give you relationship will give you hectares of land that you don't have money to get are you hearing what i'm saying relationship will give you things there are people today who can stay in somebody's rented apartment and never pay because of relationship if you have to pay for everything in life is dangerous it will kill you relationships the key to relationship is honor and friendliness when you make people feel like idiots around you you will pay for it in the days to come are we together all that big man is him i'm a big man i'm this and that no you must learn to relate with people. hallelujah ada is here many of you may not know him they were part of what aaron calls first second generation dna that's him there he came around this guy used to wash my clothes cook for me he did this almost every day that was his work oh. believe me when i tell you this it was marriage until he got married and he left do you think i'll ever forget him i would drop my last penny to see that he smiles it's called blessed by association how many of you remember that teaching he and i those days blessed by association i taught on the mystery on how people can enjoy the sweat of others because they have learned to connect the bible says god told abraham to go out he said and lot went with him just by going with abraham he was implicated be blessed it's called blessed by association who do you know today that can speak for you in high places don't say it does not matter i learned this from my dad my dad has mastered the art of keeping relationships he knows almost everybody somewhere if it's military there must be a soldier that is his friend police there must be somebody that's a powerful life they take you to police station there's somebody who can advocate for you not to leave you to die there you are going to the court there is somebody who can speak for you i pray for you may god raise people this year that in any area there will be voices that will speak for you listen we suffer needlessly in life because we have money but we do not have voices that speak for us there's a business proposal there are five of you having it you have all the qualifications but you neglected relationships somebody you used to know who can now speak for you you are anointed but you ignored it because we pastors told you it's not important just pray and serve god no connect with people you don't connect with people because they are perfect connect with them now before it becomes every day makes it more expensive to connect connect and have a testimony that you drank gary together right and you will be able to partake of their bounty destiny help us you must look for these people and pray them into your life 
remember the Bible talk, talks to us about Naaman. We talk a lot about Naaman, but we forget the little maid who encouraged him. You know, it was a little slave girl. She said, there is a prophet. Please talk to the king to allow you. She persuaded him. And he went to Elisha. Elisha said, go and bath. And he was angry. He said, are there no other beautiful pools? And the lady begged him. When she pleaded with him, he went to bath. And his destiny changed. Connect with people. Don't ignore people this year and say this one cannot speak English. We are the committee of beautiful girls. We are the committee of, of those who have we want. We are the handsome guys. We are the ones who are this. We are the ones who are intelligent. We are the ones who work in banks. We are the business moguls. That spirit cast it out this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Learn to connect with people. You don't know who is who. This world is a very small world. Very, very small world. I've gone to places and I've been amazed at people who I used to know and how they have been of tremendous help. You go somewhere and you are supposed to struggle and go through certain things and they facilitate it for you. When my international passport expired, one of our, he's a general, he's a, a, a chairman board of, of trustees, he went to, you know, just with his influence, I mean, this is a general now. This man drove me in his car by himself with army uniform. And I came up. People thought I was a general, so I was just smiling. <laughs> oh, this year, may you hang on somebody's success and smile through it. It mustn't always be your own. You can smile your way through relationships. And they say, yes, you are just a parasite. No problem. At least I'm moving forward. And he went there. When the woman saw the way he was running around, he just told me, sit down. I was embarrassed, frankly. He was running around, doing everything. And um, within 30 minutes, my passport was, uh, was ready. Something they, anyway, follow the protocol. Life is in stages. Don't go and force people in passport office and they throw you out and jail you. But the point is, the woman looked at him and I prayed with her. Then, I think it was last year or year before last, we went to minister in uh, the Nigerian immigration, the, the immigration service in, in Abuja, their chapel. We now went to minister there and after I was done, I was greeting the people. Guess who I saw? That madam. She had been shifted there. I looked at her and I said, ah, mommy, how are you? She was greeting me. She said, oh, I knew there was something about you. And I connected. I greeted her so well so that if my passport expires again, <laughs> learn how to maintain relationships. See, listen, please, we are, we, are, we are praying now. I'm teaching you secrets that will really put you on top. There are people who don't have money, but they will never cry. You won't see their tears. There is always somebody. There is always somebody. Hallelujah. What has been your outlook about relationships? People in the world know how to keep this relationship. Have you seen somebody go to drink? No money. Yet he goes to the beer parlor, he even invites an wife that buys it not this joint. Immediately he enters, ah, oh, God, lucky, how are you there now? And sits down. Give him 10 minutes. Somebody he knows will come in. And he says, bros, no deal, no deal. And they just say, Abba, serve him. And he will drink and argue about football and argue about everything. Add pepper soup to it, belts and go back home. No money. But he had a capital called relationship. Hold the hands of your neighbor. I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I love you. I need you to say it again one more time. I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I love you. I need you to survive. May your life never be such that you will go in the midst of people who you used to know, but there is nobody to help you. May that never be your testimony in Jesus' name. Please, invest in healthy relationships. I'm telling you this. Invest in people are the conduits for miracles. Somebody knows somebody who knows somebody who can wipe your tears. It's amazing to see how close you are how close you are to your miracle 
if you can just know who leads you there learn how to walk and live with people that's the second point under relationships hold on mike just pause i want everybody to listen to what i want to say learn how to live and walk with people the bible says he who wants friends must first show himself friendly please you must learn how to live with people many of us are christians but we don't know how to live with people let me tell you what we want a friend is not somebody who is you are you hearing what i'm saying a friend may be somebody who has similar ideologies but it cannot be you there are many of us the only person who can relate with you is another you unfortunately it doesn't exist that you are a friend to people does not mean that they don't make mistakes it doesn't mean they are perfect in themselves there are many of us the lifespan of our friendship is three days you must fight with somebody and it's not necessarily an issue of demonic attack it's just wisdom you don't understand expect disappointment from friends i don't say expect it in a negative way i'm saying make room for it incorporate it as part expect betrayal expect anything and let it not surprise you when it happens god can bring the greatest gold in your life in an imperfect vessel if you know how to look beyond the flaws of men you will find treasures in them that will change your life i don't like this lady she's a jealous lady but she's intelligent and you need her intelligence why don't you ignore the jealousy are we together i don't like this man he's arrogant but he's anointed why don't you quietly let him ignore the arrogance and open up your destiny and go I don't like this woman she's too pompous but she has access to those you need please learn how to work with people i've taught us here but let me repeat for those who have come the highest psychological need of any man this is the key to friendship the lord taught me this the highest psychological need of any man alive is the need to feel loved to feel valued and to feel appreciated never forget this leaders incorporate this as you work with people pastors incorporate this the extent to which comes some the extent to which i make some feel loved and valued is the extent to which we become friends are we together that does not mean i cannot rebuke him that does not mean i cannot talk to him but that he knows fundamentally that even when i rebuke him i love him truly from my heart thank you sam are we together learn to make people feel comfortable around you don't fight people for sustaining ideologies that are different from you you are not a member of this church so don't come near me we are the group of this no we are not a member of this your belief is this you are from which church i don't believe in your pastor okay believe in the person relationships god taught me this i have seen it in my life there are few things I pay for in my life. I am telling you this. And it's not because I'm a man of God. There are few things. Those who walk close to me know. There are few things I pay for in this life. There is always somebody somewhere. And it's just a call away. Do you know how you can help people? Influence is all about connecting with people that gives you access to platforms. Platforms. There are places I minister today, I never, I never would be able to minister, but on the strength of healthy relationships. There are people God has brought into my life today who will die to see me do well. I mean die. They will give their lives literally to see me do well. Do you have such people in your life? If you don't have it, you are poor. If you don't have it, you are poor. Invest in God. Don't just be bragging around and making people feel bad and you are moving around and looking at... No, no, no. The person you reject today will rise up faster than you ever imagined. And let me tell you something. You can change the future, but you cannot change history. People have memories like elephants. You do something wrong, after 10 years they will haunt you. They don't know whether you have been born again in that 10 years or you've rededicated your life to Christ. 
they just say and see this stupid girl i remember her inside is she not the one she's the one and you are coming you are born again you are even a pastor now where a pastor's wife but carelessness of the past will haunt you and you will have to start explaining yourself no i've changed i know i was bad before use the opportunity now little things like fighting over seats to insulting people gossiping about people god is watching your destiny too is watching you must make sure you are friends to people everywhere i go i try to make the people feel honored i greet them have you learned something tonight relationships you want to see multiplied grace let there be multiplied relationships godly relationships you have to honor people you get up in the morning you greet your roommates good morning don't get up and say see if not for condition i won't be in this state you are not my mate at all you are not even my younger brother see please leave all those things don't use age to intimidate anybody you get up you be, and you when they greet you you reciprocate you don't sit down and say uh -huh. how are you good morning all this living your life to yourself i cook my food by myself i don't share with anybody i go to the market by myself you will leave destiny by yourself and that's when you will know how painful it is to ignore people you can have all the money but no access over three people called me today three people called me today to send names for jobs i don't need it three people i'm, I'm serious three people called me today and said ah there's there are some federal government jobs that are opening do you have a few people i said ah yes so i have people i said okay this one will give you one slot this one hurry up and do this it's called influence it's called influence that's what politicians do one letter can wipe your tears this is how miracles happen i'm teaching you wisdom you see me dwelling on this point because many of us have ignored relationships ignored relationships there are certain people that come from other university campuses and other places they come here and i see them i mark their face sometimes when i go around their regions to minister as people are trying to see me I, I look at their face and i say i remember are you not the one that did this bought me what they say yes sir and i say no 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 let this guy come follow us to our hotel room access i see him looking at his friends i paid the price i came and now i have to go may god give you influence this year access to people quality people in the name of jesus christ Amen. hallelujah in the name of jesus christ access to people what you are looking for is in the hand of somebody don't look for that thing look for a relationship with him you will have access to it does a wife a, a good husband and a good wife does the wife really have to say sorry do i have a share in your inheritance all she did was what he got married to her and he also partakes of it stop looking for people's money look for relationships that's why many of us never get blessed you come to a rich man and you are eyeing you just hear making a call say eh, okay transfer 15 add five to it and you're like ah we are in the right place don't allow that attitude to cheat you this year listen i do my possible best to build relationship with people above money i have met millionaires i have met billionaires god is my witness i've never opened my mouth to say give me one naira not because i may not need it you kill relationships unnecessarily when your motive is revealed to be wrong so pay the price it's not easy but as much as it's within your power focus on relationship not this there are people who come and meet a man of god they don't want relationship they just want anointing man of god i've heard of all the things you are doing and i need the same result and then they kneel down and raise one envelope they say i came with this as if I, you know you almost feel like telling them my brother please stand up and walk away because he would think something came upon him but nothing really happened it's just that sometimes when they disturb you you just do it so they will go but you and god know that nothing really happened relationship elijah had the sons of the prophet but elisha followed him and establish the relationship finally how to walk in the prophetic world there are two laws i want you to never forget number one is the law of encounter it's changed my life i've taught us 
Jeremiah 29 13 he says and ye will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart he says and ye shall seek me and find me is one powerful Lord that has worked in my life encounter is what birds transformation when you encounter God when you encounter a dimension of him it will speak in your life please respect the law of encounter press for his presence press for his presence press for his presence allow people to run around and move around but stay I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting on you Lord I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting on you seek God with all your heart this year be be addicted to his presence don't just do it as a koinonia thing i told you god said tell them to give me time when you give god time he will reveal his glory in your life number two the law of honor this is the key for impartation honor honor let me talk for two minutes on honor Hebrews 7 verse 7 says and without contradiction the lesser listen God has already designed his system the lesser is blessed of the greater every dimension you want to enter is somebody's current experience if you know how to honor your way you will honor your way cheaply into anointings honor is so powerful it can bring the harvest of somebody into your life hallelujah I'm a product of many anointings. I have mastered the law of honor. You must learn this. Learn this. Honor your way into unbelievable dimensions of grace. Honor your way into people's lives. Honor your way into their anointings. Honor the house of God. The Bible says, honor all men. It says, honor the king. When you have that attitude of honor, I'm telling you, the sky will only be a starting point for you this year. I've made up my mind to honor every grace I come across, genuinely and truthfully. That's why we provide buses. It's a symbol of honor. We spend a lot there, but we will never stop because it's a seed of honor. I don't know what graces you carry. It's a privilege to be a preacher, but it does not mean I am better than you. There are people carrying graces here that I probably am praying for when I'm able to honor you by helping out to take you to your destination is a seed of honor that will bring impartation it's a big secret in this ministry you honor people first from your heart not just through money money is important but the, the principal way of honor is to esteem a man and esteem the grace he carries through both the person and the office he represents. Not just office. The person and the office. One of the things I pray that will come upon us tonight is a mantle of revelation. Not just miracles, but that you hold on to something. The moment you enter your office, you know what to do to silence wicked men. The moment you step in, you know what to do to move to the next dimension. The Bible says, for Jesus himself knew what to do. Scripture says it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Can we pray in one minute and say, Lord, there is something I need to know to rise to the next level. Please show me. Pray. There is something I need to know. My God, I pray that you show me. 
Why does everybody hate me? Could it be that there is a mystery that I need to know? The Bible says when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. Please pray. Lord, why am I just failing, failing in class? What is the mystery that will end my captivity? Why an endless circle of poverty? There is a key. Hand it to me tonight, oh God. Please hand it to me. Why do I just fall sick? Why is my church not growing? Why is my home dividing? There is a mystery. I humble myself tonight. Why is the anointing scarce in my life? Why have I not accessed influence in the spirit? Show me the mystery. Are you praying? Open my eyes. This is my year of multiplied grace and influence. It's my year. I place a demand. It's a right properly. Become truth. Right properly. Just said up in the day of my youth when the secrets of the Lord secrets hear me koinonia we do business in this kingdom with secrets there are secrets we remain on the strength of mysteries pray is part of the meeting you're opening up your spirit Lord, I'm tired of cycles of failure. What's my family? There is a mystery that really brings deliverance. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says they are life to those who find them. And only those who seek find. They are light to those who find them and health to their flesh. Number three. The third thing the Lord asked me to share with us tonight, very powerful, is found in John chapter 5. Please give us John chapter 5. We'll read verse 1 to 9. The Lord wants to reveal a dimension of himself tonight as the helper. Listen. Listen. The Bible calls God a Beniza. You know what that means? The helper of men. When God comes in to help you in life, you must succeed. After this, there was a feast of the Jews. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. We're reading down to verse 9. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, Bethesda having five porches. Right? Verse 3. In this lay a great multitude of... Look at the kind of people there. Successful people don't have any business with that environment. It's an environment that connoted weakness. It says, impotent folk of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. Please pay attention. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. And then whosoever, excuse me, whosoever then um, first, then first after troubling the water stepped in was made whole of whatever disease he had. Can you imagine that kind of frustration? One person per year. Just like Nigeria says you should wait until somebody retires or dies. Then they say there's vacancy. You now come. One person per year was a horrifying situation. 
Then the Bible says there was a certain man. No name. There was a certain man. Which had an infirmity for how long? 38 years. After 38 years, anything you cannot do is a concern. You agree with me? After 38 years, anything you cannot do is a concern. At 38 years, no child is a concern. At 38 years, you cannot at least move into your house is a concern. At 38 years, there's nothing meaningful you are doing. It's a concern. The Bible says this man had been dead 38 years. When Jesus saw him lie. Now listen. God is about to speak to you. And knew that he had been there for how long? For a... The first revelation is that he knows you have been in that situation for a long time. He knows. And then the Bible says, he said unto him, will thou be made whole? Verse 7. This is what many of us are saying tonight. The impotent man answered, Sir, I have no man. I have no helper. I would have gotten the job, but I have no helper. I would have stepped into another level in ministry but i have no helper it says i have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool and tonight god wants to be a helper he walked to him and the man said i have no helper but he said i will help you you don't need the pool rise up he can use another route the formula had always been fall inside the water but he said, let's ignore the water. I am here. Rise up. The formula has been, be blessed after 20 years. But God is saying, I can follow another route with you. Such that in one year, I can do something in your life that will surprise you. He said, I have no man. And the Lord said, reveal to my people, I will manifest as a helper. When God helps a man, you will be surprised. The Bible says, Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped. Marvelously helped. Part of the ministries of the Holy Spirit is as a helper. He comes in to help you. That's what grace is all about. That where your effort stops, and you say, Lord, if it's based on my qualification, oh, I read whatever it is, and God says, uh -uh, I am here. I can take you to another level. Oh God, I'm here. I've been barren. They said, I don't even have a womb. And he says, I am here to help you. Who is God speaking to tonight? You really need help. Only an arrogant person will deny the need for help. I have been helped by people in my life. And I saw how easy my life became when they helped me. Watch this. Benga, come. I'm trying to lift this. And my hand is, I can't lift it. And then a helper comes. And sometimes he can even volunteer to carry everything. And it makes my life easy. The help of God can make a man's life easy. Please, let me preach to you for one minute. I have a responsibility over this house to tell you this and I must say it. This abuse your mind from this city proposal coming from the media that Nigeria is in trouble economy everybody shouting dollar I like you to shout it count me out say it shout it one more time listen we are not irresponsible citizens don't get me wrong we sympathize with what is happening in the nation but if you dare let Satan speak to you he will destabilize your creativity and crumble your life people who have been irresponsible since before dollar have found a shield to explain their irresponsibility everybody says dollar is rising 
is it not in your bible when men say are we together now he says you will say there is a lifting up this is not the first time the economy of the world is going into trouble the bible says in the days of joseph it said money failed money failed but there was a secret that was revealed to joseph there is what you hold on to that this year can be the most prosperous year in your life listen god is looking for every opportunity to make a statement afford him your life a christian is not one who has just received jesus into his life a christian listen is one who operates by the principles of the word of god our economy is different and by economy i don't just mean finances your health whatever there's lassa fever there's what again huh there's zika virus there's which one again they are, they are there it's the one you know you are mentioning what of the ones that are arrows that fly by day have they told you on tv the bible listen listen psalm 90 don't turn there our time is gone psalm 91 said thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilence right there are diseases you breathe them all around it takes a superior revelation to keep you i reject everything whose price has been paid on the cross i will not pay another price again are we together you must understand the implication of your oneness with christ So he wants to be your helper can you hand over your life and say god help me truly i've tried by myself if you don't help me i will never get this admission if you don't help me i will never graduate if you don't help me my certificate will remain a piece of paper i will keep mocking myself with my accolades listen if no one has told you let me tell you again our world is a cruel and a wicked world you don't have to do anything you don't have to trouble anyone you just need to be alive that's the condition to be a potential victim when the lord told me this i said lord i first i receive for myself i receive for myself he is my helper when god comes in to help you he can round off what has taken you 10 years 10 years of captivity let me tell you something it doesn't take time when jesus is there it doesn't take time you'll be watching the growth this is how it will live and you're saying where is it it's gone who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne you know why i raised that song if you think there are many gods i know that we claim we are not idols but i will show you now that many of us have been practicing idolatry you know why many people never believe god we still have options your uncle still said okay let's just see what happens at the end of the month so while you are saying lord i trust you what you mean is lord i trust you through my uncle are we together now lord i trust you through that that ceo i met him and he said uh, he will consider my promotion lord i trust you through my job god says he will bless you and he said i know my salary is on his way coming Lord, I trust you and you say, I know. I, there's, there's that consultant surgeon. He's coming in next week from India. And God is just arranging it such that he's coinciding with my need. Who is like him? The lion and the lamb seated on the throne. 
Mountains bow down, every ocean roars to the Lord of Lords. Praise Adonai from the rising of the sun to the end of every day. Praise Adonai, all the nations of the earth. All the elders and the saints sing praise. I believe God, though. I'm a man of faith. I believe God. He says, I know whom I have believed. I've seen God help people even in this place. In this place. Brothers and sisters, there is a mystery of lifting. God can take a man. You see somebody today and God can lift that person. He, he, they looked at some and said, where? The, we can't see the process. When did Saul become a prophet? A man sleeps as a prisoner. But the next afternoon, he's already a prime minister. Oh, don't play with the God we serve. There is a mystery of the lifting of men. That you are about to die after one month. And after koinonia, you are not only alive, you are carrying the healing anointing. Who is this God that can bring speed to a man? I'm not motivating you. I know him. There is a mighty God who can wipe the tears of people. Let me tell you, this night, before we pray, just take away your mind from anything and everybody. Don't come to God with your calculation and say, Lord, my prayer request, I wrote my uncle, he must answer me, leave that one. Let God choose, if God wants to use a chair to give you a breakthrough, let him give it to you. You've not read that God used a bed to bring bread for a man. Do you think if Elijah had an option, he would choose a bed? Was it not rock that brought water out from people? These things were not done in the spirit. It's just that we truly do not believe God. We think we do, but we don't. There are people who are sick here right now, but may never believe that God can touch them. Listen, don't be so into your challenges that you think tonight God cannot touch you. It's easy to say, okay, God, I'm happy. I, I thank you for what you are doing. No, you must insist. Hallelujah. Luke 18 verse 1, the Bible says he spake this parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. He said there was an unjust judge. He didn't fear anybody, not God nor man. And there was this poor widow who said, avenge me my adversary. And for a long time, the man would not respond. And she kept pestering him. When you place a demand with your faith, there is enough grace. There is enough anointing. You can argue this and watch other people stepping into their testimonies. But please tonight, wherever you are, inside and outside, don't make it look like you have come to waste your time tonight. Are we together? God has revealed to us that he's coming in as a helper. Bless you, my dear. As a helper. As a helper. This ministry has been helped by the Lord. Greatly helped by the Lord. I think it was last week I was sharing the testimony. We don't have the opportunity to share one tenth. And by the way, I want to challenge you. When God blesses you, don't keep quiet. You return back to where you receive the miracle and let the people of God know that this is what God has done. I shared the testimony last week. I think it was last week or two weeks ago. When Kaduna, after a meeting, just to have lunch briefly and then rush back. And I'm there and then a woman walks up to order a meal too and she's with a little son. Then I look at this woman and she was looking at me. She said, are you Pastor Joshua? I said, yes, ma'am. And then she greeted me. And I said, sorry, do I know you? And she smiled. She said, I'll tell you a little story. She said, two years ago, she came for counseling. As wretched, it was like she had come to the end of her life. I share this to encourage you. Hallelujah. And... Um, she said everything was scattering. She was a single mom with a child. Supposedly no hope for marriage. 
nothing was working they were about to throw her out on her job and i prophesied to her and i said they were going to call her back and send her to the marketing department she should not be afraid and she said man of god that's exactly what happened and she looked at me and she said can you imagine what has happened to my life she just put her hand like this and i saw a ring and she said i just got married two months ago and then she said i should look outside and there was a clean E-class. She said, who would believe that in two years I'll be the one owning this? My life has changed. Brothers and sisters, if you will believe, God can change your life. If you will argue, he will not argue with you. He will leave you to continue until you find enough reasons. Please, I want you to be angry today as we pray. And place a demand on the throne of heaven and say, Lord, you must answer me. Whenever I call you. You will answer me. Elijah called on you and you answered him. Moses called on you and you answered him. That's why I know wherever I call you, you will answer me. Seated here, inside and outside, in all of the overflows. There are people with medical reports that if God does not visit them this night, they are dying for sure. I bring you a message of hope. The helper is in the house. There are families here who are in situations that will take a vigil for them to explain because they, the situation is so scattered it doesn't have beginning and end they don't even know where the problem started from they know that they are in the middle of a situation but the helper when he comes he can make every crooked path straight there are people here trusting God for children there are people here trusting God for a turnaround breakthrough do you believe that God is stepping in? The worship team sang so beautiful and they challenged us. Do you believe that God is able to step in? We are going to pray right now. You are not praying for your neighbor. You are not praying on your request. You are going to pray for yourself and say, Lord, please, don't let me go back the same way I came. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside, please pray. yes lord hallelujah 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 one more prayer point the power of god is so strong in this place i'd like you to say lord visit the foundation of my problem and set me free please lift your voice and pray what you think may be the problem may not really be the problem Hallelujah. We're going to sing this song just seven times. And then I'll begin to minister. My goodness. I tell you, God will do extraordinary things in this place. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. 
I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting no, 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 no. to everlasting. I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Praise the miracle worker. From who will step into your life? Everlasting to everlasting. I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise Him. One more time. Lord, we will praise you. From everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you. From everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. Madam, let me talk to you, please. Yes. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. It's time for you to rejoice. The Lord is asking me to destroy witchcraft from your life and your family. Because you love the Lord, but there is a lot of oppression in your life. Is that true? Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that he's ending captivity today from your life. Right now, I command that spirit out by the power of the Holy Spirit. I stretch my hand. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing something being removed from your head. That's what I see happening. You will never be the same again. I command it out. By the authority of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. And God is removing something from your stomach too. I'm seeing something leaving your stomach. Like a growth. I command it to go now. Right now. Right now. I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting. Hallelujah. Everlasting. Madam. Check yourself. Give her the mic. Check yourself right now. Your stomach area. Check yourself. What is happening? Look at this. Because I saw that there was something. If I don't pray for you. Huh? There's a movement. Movement. Because I'm seeing something. Later they will tell you it's fibroid. Huh? You are, you are even afraid of going to the hospital. The hospital. Yes. Because you think they will tell you it's fibroid. That's really what they would have told you. But today we cancel it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everlasting to everlasting. Gabriel, I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Gabriel, Gabriel. Please let's save time. Gabriel, you are at that row. You are at the back. That row at the back. You are a gentleman at the back. That row there. Where is the person? Please come out quickly. You are wearing something like brown. Brown shirt or something. Is there someone like that? Who is that? Come. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Eh? because I'm seeing another woman your mother is here the Lord is saying I should speak to her light is living from you outside there is a woman outside she's your mother where is she is she here or at, not outside at, at the is he at the edge of the wall or outside some who is that please is she here come mama God is wiping the tears of your family tonight Everlasting to everlasting, Lord, we will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting. 
you are welcome. Please stand up. This woman has suffered. I'm looking at this woman and I saw a load on your head that is reaching the roof and she's carrying it alone. Mama, can you hear me? Look at this woman crying. You see, some of you don't know why. God, this is not just showmanship. There are people here just seated close to you. If they tell you their stories, your own story will look like child's play. Because this woman has suffered. Mama, you are a good woman, but listen, listen. Where, where are, you, are you in Zaria here? In Zaria, what do you do? I need to pray. I need to pray. Because I'm, I'm seeing this is a cause. I'm a widow. I know. I'm going to pray for you. Do you know why I call this boy? They want to kill him. That's why I want to pray for him. They caught. He matter they caught. This boy matter they caught. I go yesterday. Yesterday we go. They say on the tenth. This will come back again. Eh? What court? He get problem. He matter they caught. If I don't pray for this boy as small as he is, they are going to kill him. Do I know you are, have a case in the court? Why would we call somebody? Like, don't, don't be afraid, ma Mama, because this thing will even cause you problem. Um, young man, I will pray for you. Mommy, look at me. This thing is a curse. Huh? The same way they killed your husband, they want to kill this boy and leave you in misery. Huh? Mama, I'm going to pray for you. There is a God that reveals secrets to men. Yeah because I'm seeing a load right to the roof on your head you are carrying it alone I will pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ God is wiping your tears I'm seeing a mother outside the Lord is showing me a mother outside a woman outside uh, it's like you are wearing her tie but it's not like a tie, same material. A tie like a normal, this thing. It's, a, it's an elderly woman outside sitting just by this side of the window. Please, I need to speak to her. If there is somebody like that, let's have a mother outside. The Lord is showing me. Mama, I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus for God to change your story. I don't know what is in the court, but in the name of Jesus, we will change it. How old are you? you are 14 you will serve the lord in the name of jesus you believe that where are you from mama I'm from Edo. you are from where Edo, from Okwela. where are you from you are from Edo state that's what the lord is telling me because the same thing he's delivering two of you from you see that mama i'm going to pray for you in the name of jesus christ God is destroying that spirit. Father, I lay my hands on our mommy. The back pain, look at me, mama. The back pain, you it did, it did, it did. You will be healed now. Amen. Hold my hands. Amen. Look at what is happening to her. Mama, shout Jesus loud. Jesus. Father, hold my hands for your glory. Mama, look at me. Look at me. You see something like fire moving at your back right now. That pain is living right now. In the name of Jesus. Do what you couldn't do. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Look at. Look at you. Help her. Cover her. It will never return to you in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you, my friend. I'm seeing you, but I'm seeing two heads. This is a misidentity. The devil wants to misrepresent you, but I'll pray for you. Huh? Your passion for God. Have good friends. If your friends are not good, leave them this night. May God give you good friends. In the name of Jesus Christ, grace for you. That anointing comes upon you, takes you to a new dimension. This is the woman, Mama, you are welcome. Let's celebrate Jesus. I'll pray for you, but there is another woman I'm talking about. There is another Mama outside. 
who needs to come mama i'm going to pray for you in the name of jesus you have a daughter yes where is she she's outside she's outside call her come daughter where are you please come Everlasting to what's her name Shim. Shim. please Shim. you had your name rush and come in our time is gone who is this that you have the one no the woman i'm talking about has her tie um it's not the same as the material it's not the same as the material she's wearing i'm looking for a hair tie that looks close to it ladies now the normal scarf that you carry and tie but i will pray for you anybody that has come out i'll pray for you i don't know why she's here she is, but i'll pray for you you are already out i'll pray for you please let's let me just minister to those that are here i'll pray for you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus please you can return back to your seat let me talk to you your daughter uh, mama i'm going to pray for you the lord is visiting your family in the name of jesus christ he's visiting your family and look at me my dear god is taking delay from your family Tell your mother, this is your grandmother, right? Huh? Who is like your mother? She is oh, mine. I see. I, I, oh, I get the story now. Your real mother is dead. This is your grandmother, but she's like your mother now. Oh, I see. Because the Lord is saying I should tell your mother, whoever is that, that she's going to lift her. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Mama, God is lifting you and is wiping your tears. And the Lord is telling me that he's adding years to your life. Believe me. Who is this? Your what? Sister, but she has um, son and daughter. You have a daughter? She has a daughter, but she's my elder sister. She's your elder sister? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll talk with you. We have to really rush. Mama, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. The God I serve will bless you. He will honor you. What do you do, my dear? I'm a student. Where? In ABU here. ABU here. Yes. I'll pray for you. God is bringing favor upon your life. Look at me. You will really be a blessing to Mama. And make sure you bless her with all your heart. In the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Bless you, Mama. Come. Come. Two of you. You love Jesus? Are you part of them? Come. You love Jesus? No, you are stubborn. Come. You need to be prayed for. Come. You don't love Jesus. You are, you are very stubborn. But Jesus loves you. You are a stubborn boy. You have bad friends. You don't listen. We have to pray for you. There is a spirit disturbing you. You need to be delivered. Let her go right now. Out! Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. I command that devil. Hmm? They want to make your sister mad. Eh? What's wrong with her? It's mad, sir. She's it's mad. Mad. Yes, sir. This is madness. She will be free right now. She came here mad. You are joking. This is koinonia. I command that spirit. She's mad. Out! You must go right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Release her hands. Release her hands. Hold me. Hold me. I command that madness. How can a lady like this be mad for God's sake? I command that spirit. They must leave you right now. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the spirit of the Christ. Jesus, for your mercy, for your glory. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. This lady is not just mad. This was supposed to be an initiation. Hold on, please. This is a serious issue. 
This is supposed to be an initiation into the occult. This is not just mad, like occult, fly. This is occult. An occultic thing. It's not just madness. And you, if they don't pray, you don't listen, you are small, but God will help you, eh? Don't be angry. You have to leave your bad friends. You hear me? If not soon now, you start taking, uh, what's that thing, that cough syrup? Huh? You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Please. Don't be embarrassed. We're not, we're not here to embarrass people. You get what I'm saying? We're not here to embarrass people. I have to pray for you. What do you do? Um, I'm vibing in Sokoto. Eh? I'm staying with my elbow daughter in Sokoto. No, that's not what you are doing. Hold on. Why am I seeing a clipper? I'm vibing in Sokoto. You say you are staying with your brother. I'm seeing a clipper. Come. You two, two of you, God needs to help you. You are a good boy, but there, there's bad influence around your life. God even needs to visit your brother in Sokoto. Eh? You believe what I'm telling yes, you? Sir. You came from Sokoto? Yes, sir. All the way? Yes, sir. This one, where did he come from? He's staying with my mom here. He's staying with your mom. Is your mom here? No, sir. She's not here. I have to pray for you. Huh? Um, when, I'm, when I make the altar call, I'll make the altar call. Once you just hear the altar call, just run and come out. Hmm? It's time to be very serious. Jesus Christ will help you. You are a great person. Huh? You are a great person. You don't have any business doing what you are doing. Now, what took you to Sokoto? I went to school. Are you a student? No, sir. I have not gotten to admission yet. Your school is not Sokoto. Come back. Don't think somebody will manipulate you and do wrongs for you to get this and that because what you want to do is not very good. Eh? It's not a godly thing you want to do to get admission. Let's do things correctly. Huh? What do you want to study? Computer science. This is not computer science. I'm seeing IT. Something that has to do with, with IT. And God will bless you, but you need to settle down. Because the way you are desperate for admission now, you can you do everything. Have you written jam? Um, you are writing jam on Tuesday. Huh? Tuesday. Well, I won't say it here. Be careful. Just be careful. You hear what I'm saying, Abi? You know what I'm saying. Yes, be careful. Eh? Because you can't want God to help you. And you're already doing arranging. You know what I'm saying now? All these funny things people do for jam. What is not your own is not your own. I'm not embarrassing you. The Lord will step in and the Lord will bless you. Just hold that lady and let me minister to you. Who is this? Please, if I don't... Yes, Mama, Mama, come. Please, if I don't call you, you don't come out. Mama, I want to pray for you. You do business. Because you are supposed to do... There is business that God has been putting in your heart. Yeah? Is that true? God, I see you do business. What you are getting from civil service is not enough to take care of you. And God wants to open a door for you. A business door. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to pray for you because God wants to really give you prosperity this year. Okay, thank you. Regina, Regina. I hear a name, Regina. Regina, Lord, in the name of Jesus, step into our mother's life. Do a miracle for her right now in the name of Jesus. I hear a name, Regina. Regina. Please, who is that? Do we have anybody? Outside. Regina. You are outside. There's nobody. We just move to the next case. You are Regina. Come, what do you do? I'm a salunist. You are a salunist. I need to pray. Bad luck. God wants to take away bad luck from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's marriage was cancelled. Come out, please. Your marriage. Who is that? No, not you. Not you. Somebody's marriage. I'll pray for you. Don't worry. You were supposed to. You've even started the arrangement. They just cancelled it like this, and your heart is pain. Please come out. I want to pray for you. Let's just flow as the Holy Spirit is giving us grace. You are Regina. In the name of Jesus, God is giving you favor. Please don't sit back. This is a serious issue. In the name of Jesus, I lay hands on you. Please go back. I don't have to speak over your life. Once I lay hands on you, what do you do? I just graduated. Eh? Graduated from school. You just graduated. I have to pray for you because you love God. Yes, sir.
mind is up. Who is supposed to? They've started your marriage planning. Please come, my sister. I, I don't mean to embarrass you. You get what I'm saying? Is to speak over your life. You two, what category are you here for? Huh? Regina, okay, I'll pray for you. Who has sickle cell? There's a sickler here now. You are the one. Please indicate, eh, sweetheart. Come. Hold my hands. Look at me. Father, please do a miracle for this lady. You have changed several genotypes in this place. Change her genotype right now. In the name of Jesus. From SS to AA. Do it for her in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let me pray. Please, um, are you based in Zaria here? Are you part of our prayer department? Yes, sir. Please, be serious, eh? And pray, because uh, it's not just prayer department. After Koinonia, you can meet the media and listen to the messages. They will help you. You love Jesus, but your mindset is still very serious. And you can do anything, especially men. So please, you will listen to that message and the Lord will help you. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, come. I don't know what happened. I don't want to ask you. Please don't feel embarrassed. Huh? When do you want to settle down? It was supposed to be December last year. It was supposed to be December last year. What happened? You called me and said I should forget about everything. The guy called you and just told you he's not doing again. Yes, sir. Did he give you a reason why? No reason. Okay, let me tell you. Weep not. God saved you from heartache. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please. See, let me tell you. If you don't have the eyes of the spirit, you will be fighting God not knowing. Are we together now? I'm sorry to say, don't feel bad. Don't feel embarrassed. You see that guy? It was three of you. You are not the only one. You have been sensing that there's another lady. The other lady promised to do him something if he doesn't leave you. That's why he, why he quietly called out of fear and all of that. That he's, He may be a sincere person, but him and women, is even a spirit. He needs help. Let me pray for you that God will bring the man he has destined. You're a very nice lady. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon her. Father, send into her life the man a, a responsible and God-fearing man in the name of Jesus Christ and for your shame may my God give you double in the name of Jesus Christ Amen and Amen let me just talk to two people and then we'll... Madam, please come that woman, can I talk to you? please clear the way for her Madam, please come please let's pray go ahead and pray pray in the spirit say Father visit me Madam, please look at me. I have to pray for you. Something is tying your finances down completely. Yes, sir. That's the major reason why you came. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. You were asking the Lord to visit your finances. Yes, sir. Because everybody will see you now and think things are just working, but the truth is nothing is really working. Yes, sir. You need a serious miracle in that area. That's true, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. Are you married? Yes, but now I'm out of Hold on. Place. Don't worry. You don't, just answer. You don't have to embarrass yourself because there is a spirit. Huh? This spirit brings bad luck on your life. People come to you and then in a few weeks or months, they will now fight you. This is still what happened in your marriage true, sir. because the man has gone. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, is that true? Are you in your yes, husband's house now? No, sir. You are not in your husband's house. The Lord is bringing a miracle for you. Amen. What do you do? I'm a hairdresser. Your address, sir. Do you believe in tithing? Yes, sir. You tithe? No. Don't feel embarrassed. This is the one thing the devourer is marching in and out of your life because tithing is not in place. Please believe it. It's not a gimmick by men of God. Is she your friend? Because I'm seeing light from you to her. You know her. Eh? Why have you not been talking to her about tithing? Even last week you discussed with her. 
No, 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 don't feel bad. Madam, please, look at me. Tithing is not a gimmick by men of God. Believe me. You understand what I'm saying? Is the access point the devil is using. Where is your husband, the man now? He's at home now. Has he married? Do you want to get married? Are you sure? I will discuss with you, eh, madam. This is not something we will say in public. It's a very serious mm -hmm. issue. But I need to pray for you. But for now, I need to pray for you. There is bad luck. And we need to pray against it. Please don't feel bad. God is about to change your life. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus. I command that spirit. See, there is a spirit that is making this thing happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. Release her right now. That spirit leaves you. Madam, go and prosper. You will prosper in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Um, there's a baby that is sick. I have to pray for that baby. I'm seeing a baby that is very sick. Very small baby. Sick. Your child? Is she sick? Yes, sir. What's wrong with her? She's having difficulties in breathing. Difficult in breathing. Difficulty in breathing. How old is the baby? It's five months. Five months. This is not the only baby. There's another one. Come, come. I'll pray with you. What did the doctors tell you about the baby? Syndrome. They said it's what? That is Down syndrome patient. Down syndrome? Yes, sir. We soon need... Doctor. Ah, you're a doctor now. Down syndrome. At least I know, I don't know what causes it, but I know how it... Do Please come, come, come and talk to us. Give us some little education. Let's cast it. Um, it's a congenital disorder. And the difficulty in breathing is most likely coming from a congenital heart disease. It mostly manifests with congenital heart disease. Then there are other um, manifestations too. From the fishy, you can um, see some of the manifestations also. I don't know what you said, but all well, I know. <laughs> most likely, the difficulty in breathing is coming from a congenital heart disease. We are going to pray. This, this baby... believe that this child ah god do a miracle in the name of jesus hold him am i holding him right jesus christ father by the blood of jesus do a miracle in this child we change this situation in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit let there be a miracle in Jesus' name. I'm seeing one more child though. Who is that? Please come. Please hold the child. You are the one who needs the healing first. Just hold the child. I hope the child will not cry. I have to pray for you. Huh? Something is really fighting you. Huh? This is witchcraft. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command you, you know my voice. In the name of Jesus, she's been translated from the kingdom of darkness into light. And you must let her go. I'm seeing this lady in the realm of the spirit like a tree. That is, is refused from moving. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those dreams, those oppressions, I come against them in Jesus' name. Let's pray for the baby. What's wrong with the baby? She has been coughing and stooling. Coughing and stooling. Baby, how are you? In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak to you. No more coughing. In the name of Jesus Christ, perfection in your body. I release the power of the Holy Spirit upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus. 
the power flows through this baby in Jesus name I hope the usher help her out because I'm sensing this anointing even on her in the name of Jesus Christ baby we take away everything that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ look at me where is the man in your life? one of the ushers okay I'll pray with you in the name of Jesus I'm seeing something that is serious but I'll talk, I'll talk about it okay the Lord is showing me something that is quite serious thank you Jesus hallelujah please lift your hands there are 13 people here there is a strong influence of confusion and stagnation please listen 13 people here right now inside and outside i'm going to pray for you right now wherever you are as i begin to pray it's like fire it will come upon you confusion stagnation at least 13 people i see in the spirit please lift your hands don't say anything just lift your hands i'll do the praying let's just flow the way the holy spirit is praying. lord jesus i'm praying right now by the ministry of angels 13 people by the influence of the spirit i stand under this apostolic anointing and i pray right now wherever you are inside and outside right now as i pray that fire starts coming upon them right now right now bring them out 13 people 13 people by the power of the holy spirit i end it right now there are still people outside inside 13 people by the anointing of the holy spirit bring them out please right to the back right to the back right to the back right to the back i'm seeing fire it's like a spirit that would jump out of you right to the back inside outside i command that confusion outside the anointing of the holy ghost is resting on people confusion all the overflows in the name of jesus confusion must come to an end right now delay lift your hands i tell you there will be a mighty baptism outside outside at the count of three i want you to shout jesus when you shout it i see altars on fire are you ready now outside one two three bring them bring them fire is falling outside the bible says while men slept hear me there are things that tie the destinies of men jesus already paid the price that's why we are doing what we are doing the authority is that of jesus christ bring them in now listen listen my goodness you are going to lift your hands for your family i see the angels of the lord bringing deliverance for families listen at the count of three i tell you wherever you are i like you to shout jesus with all your heart some of you you are representing an altar of god for your family and the moment you do that in the name of jesus there will be a miracle one father for families let the soul of the spirit go from the north to the south east and the west of every family right now at the count of three one two three families families
families families the sword of judgment Pray, pray. Make sure you're praying. In the name of Jesus. Now those outside listen I came out because your destiny must open up Lift your hands I came out to bring the atmosphere of God's presence Hear me There is no one here Whose destiny has been tied That that spirit will remain I'm going to, Listen I'm going to begin to walk around my goodness i see angels by my left and right as i begin to move across this place the fire of god will start falling right now i stand under this apostolic office and i declare my hands right now right now right now i command us right now right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus fire 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 every spirit Every devil from my left, my right, outside, outside, my left, my right, every devil right now, I stretch my hands, every spirit, go, 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 I command every spirit, right now, release them, release them, right now, release them, release them. Hallelujah. 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 Those of you here, lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to shout Jesus just two times. And I see like a tornado. It's like the spirit will start moving right to the back. That's what the Lord is saying. I should shout. There are spirits, time men. It's your time to go now. Jesus, get ready now. Get ready now. Jesus, go, go, go out. Out right now. My left and my right. I release spirit. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Those spirits, I command them to leave. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Out, 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 out. Out by the power of the Holy Spirit. I command right now, right now. I stretch my hands towards you. Every force tying you down. In the name of Jesus, it must release you right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Those of you outside don't think you are missing anything at all that's why i came out i'm going to all the overflows those of us here you may be outside but let me tell you something god will step into your destiny please lift your hands because i'm seeing chains from where this camera is right to the end i'm seeing chains lift your hands i want you to shout jesus just once at the count of three and everybody under that influence must go right now please be careful with anybody close to you so that you don't stampede them father i chains of bondage but you organize this meeting to recover destinies therefore at the count of three it will come like fire on some of you one two three right now right now right now right now right now right now i cast that spirit i cast that spirit i cast that spirit 
let that go right now in the name of Jesus 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 the Lord is giving you a new song a new song the Lord is wiping your tears you on green lift your hands take it now receive right now by the power of the Holy Ghost Mama, the Lord is saying I should tell you he's wiping your tears. God is wiping your tears. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is saying what you could not do in five years. You, Mama, in five years, he's making to happen for you in one year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sir. I have to pray there's delay in your life the lord wants me to break the spirit of delay i hope you are not embarrassed sir no. hold my hand sir something will happen to you remarkably right now take it that devil of delay out of his life right now out out i don't know who this man is but he's stepping into a new level god is wiping the spirit of delay in the name of jesus i'm seeing in the spirit a name eboni eboni state Someone here from a boy state, God is bringing a miracle at my back. That person is at my back. A boy state, God is bringing a miracle wherever that person is. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is Margaret? Margaret, I'm hearing a name, Margaret. You are in this place. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a lady here, Margaret. I'm seeing the Lord is shining. Who is that? Come, Margaret. You are Margaret. Look at me. The Lord is wiping the tears of your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit to leave your family right now. I see a family of five ladies. None is married. A family of five ladies. The Lord is showing me. Five ladies. None is married. None is married. He's on the wheelchair. How long have you been? Seven years. Sir. Seven years. What happened to you? You were shot. I'm a military personnel. Oh, you're a military personnel. Yes, sir. And you've had to leave the army because of it. Or you are still there. I'm still in the service, but then you need to walk. Yes, sir. Wow. You can't feel. No, I cannot feel. You can't feel this leg right it's now. A spinal cord injury. Oh, it's a spinal cord. A lumbar problem. Yes, sir. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family of five ladies, please. I have to talk five ladies none of them is married five ladies none is married no one among them is married god needs to do a miracle please make sure that we confirm the situation five ladies so that we don't say yes. we are faking it please make sure yes yes five ladies yes, where are you from yes i'm from edo state you are from edo state yes yes you too five you two you are together oh you are his sister you are his friend so why are you here with him to back him up oh five ladies yes okay okay i'm going to pray for you right now hallelujah in the name of jesus i command that spirit there is a spirit that brings delay in your family and I take authority over that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ right now there's somebody around here you are into book selling bookstore business God wants to increase somebody's bookstore business here I'm sensing it I don't know if there's anybody here you are into selling of books the Lord is saying prophesy increase to that person oh Jordan is you father in the name of Jesus I pray for Jordan. You step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Ah, but you are not related to him. You just came out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the people here. I hope they can hear me. Hallelujah. There's somebody I need to pray for here. 
call that lady call that lady you don't think distance is a barrier believe me god can fish you out from anywhere look at me i know you are standing by the fence but god is wiping your tears he's giving you a new song right now in the name of jesus i release that anointing upon you right now in the name of jesus christ god has answered your prayer you are praying that i minister to you you and your friend where is your friend where is he lift up your hands two of you you will step into an anointing uh, hold your hands together in the name of jesus look i stretch my hands right now let a fire come upon both of you right now right now in the name of the lord jesus christ you step into a strange dimension let me talk to the people here i want everybody to be able to know that when you come for this meeting it doesn't matter where you are god can visit you no don't worry just just leave the person grace i hear a name grace 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 there's someone with the name grace is there someone like that grace grace i need to pray for grace 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 and i'm hearing garba garba i'm hearing a name garba god is ministering to somebody i don't know if it's a son name or a name garba in the name of jesus garba where are you your name is garba your son name is garba where is your dad he's outside he's in saudi arabia he's, a, he's, he's in saudi arabia because i'm seeing god is saying look at me god is saying i should tell you that there's going to be increase for your family okay. and so, are you hearing what i'm saying yes you have to be very serious with you. you are going to be very wealthy you are going into oil and gas Amen. are you hearing me? i don't know you i don't know anything about you but i'm seeing that you are going into oil and gas and god is going to honor you god will bring a man into your life Bless you. i'm seeing three people here you are writing jam next to me jam no no not everybody hold on hold on just relax i'm going to pray for everybody here where i'm standing you are right child. three people you are right in jam somebody is writing it for the fourth time that person you are the one this will be the last time do you know me oh, come and stand well, please remind me in case I forget this jam thing. We have to settle it once and for all. Please, people are writing this thing again and again. I curse that spirit. This overflow, these ones looking at me. Please lift your hands. Not these ones. Those ones exactly. Please lift your hands. Please don't think that because of the distance, all right? God cannot touch you. There is a reason why I'm coming out with this because sometimes inside is just a fraction of those outside and i want you to feel a sense of belonging to know that god is able to visit you and to minister to you hallelujah those outside here there are at least two of you fire is coming upon you right now i see the power of darkness being broken lord where are they right now i stretch hands in the name of jesus christ i stand upon this anointing wherever they are father there is a lady right now it's like fire is coming upon you right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ that fire is coming upon you all of you standing here i prophesy to you in the name that is above all names hear me whatever has tied your progress i'm talking to those here i stand under this anointing and i declare a change of story right now Benway State. There's someone here from Benway. Benway. Um, Benway State. You have an elder brother. Please make sure that you don't come out. We are not faking this thing. Please. You have an elder brother. Where? I'm going to pray for you. God is visiting your family. Visiting your family in strange ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that if you seek him with all your heart, he will surprise you. I hear what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
I'm seeing a lot of families here under financial stagnation and the Lord is saying release them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ please listen listen please believe what I'm saying don't come and waste your time God brought you here to wipe your tears any family here you have tried and tried and tried doors have refused to open I open it for you now in the name of Jesus Christ I see somebody here you are looking for a job June um, you are looking for a job in Abuja by June I see a job coming this is what God is saying I don't know who I'm speaking but God is meaning somebody your name is Grace where is your mother Kogi State I need to pray for you because there's wisdom I take authority over that spirit of Jesus I need to pray for somebody, two of you. I want you to follow me. You smoke this thing. Uh, what's the name of that? It's not just stab out. Weed. Please, don't be embarrassed. Two of you, you really smoke it. You love the Lord, but this thing is a challenge. Please follow me. Your deliverance has come. You smoke weed. Your own is not just uh, all that cigarette. Please, don't be embarrassed. Follow me and I'll i'll pray for you and brother here listen listen god is speaking to you you came for koinonia but you left a lady in your room you left a lady in your room you told her you are coming for koinonia and you will come back please don't destroy yourself and destroy that lady because you're going back now is to get that lady pregnant and you'll be in trouble god is saving you send her a text now to go home you are born again. One, once I make altar call, wherever you are, please march to the front. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The power of God is coming on some ladies here. I've seen a, some at least three ladies. Severe menstrual pain. This is not this is something that for one of you is in your family. Lift your hands, please. Just here, this region. Right now, the fire of God is going to come on some ladies. I take authority over that spirit. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. Right now. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. A lady will feel like fire on her stomach right now. It will come upon you like fire. I take authority over it. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And there is a lady that the Lord is showing me. For four months, you have not seen your period. Four months, you have not seen your period. I think you need to talk to your friend to help you because before the end of this meeting, is returning. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see someone's family um, like relative in prison. There's somebody here like that in prison one of your relatives i don't know if it's in a police station or prison something like that god is doing a miracle who is that there's somebody like that you're the one come who is in prison your nephew are you sure which prison is in gobe state how long is his tenure Five years. Five years. How many years has he done? One. One year. We are going to pray for mercy. You will not reach five years. We are going to bring him out. You believe that? Yes. Lift your hands for him. And let the name of Jesus step in and heal him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your hands, my dear. Look at me. I'm seeing a crown being put on your head. You, this. Are you hearing me? God is bringing you into a new dimension of grace. Father, I stretch my hands to her right now. Right now. That fire comes upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. Let me talk to the lady with the pink cap. You, lift your hands. Beauty for ashes. That's what God is saying is bringing. Beauty for ashes. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is bringing a restoration to your family. Your family is experiencing I will praise you. In the name of Jesus. Joseph. Joseph, I hear you. Joseph. Joseph. 
You are wearing a short dress. Joseph, you are wearing a short dress. Joseph, you are in the crowd. I will pray for you, but the Joseph is inside the crowd. God wants to lift you. Lift your hands. Some people come on you. You are still there. You are in Papa. God is watching. In the name of Jesus Christ. A new dimension of grace. You are Joseph. Look at me. What are you studying? Are you a student? So you are done with German. What do you want to study? I think engineering. Agri. You are going to be a businessman. And God is going to honor you. In the name of Jesus. Joseph John, where is he? Come. Why did you stop doing business? There's an anointing for you. Go back and the Lord will honor you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come. Where is your mother? Where is the village? The Lord is saying, I should tell you, the way he would lift you, all those who know you will be surprised. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord will lift you. Eh? Because I'm seeing your story similar to that of Esther in the Bible. Go and read the story of Esther. How that God can pick somebody who is supposedly nothing. Someone's sister here is barren. Who is that person? Barren. The Lord is saying it's time for the child. Not you or your sister. Body. How many years? Six years. You follow me. How, how many years? Eleven years. Two of you come. The Lord is responding. You too. Please follow me. Madam, look at me. Confusion is ending in your life. Come. Come. The Lord is bringing an end to confusion in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, lift your voice and pray and say, Father, you are changing my story. There is a habit God is setting you free from. It's a terrible habit right now. Be free. It's not a habit you should practice at all. God is setting you free from it. Somebody here has eye problem. No, no, no. Not eye. I'm going to for you. There's somebody here with eye problem. Your eye pains you if you see light. Who is that person? No more you get discouraged easily. God is saying that you should, you should not be discouraged. Who is the person, please? Lay your hands on your hands. In the name of Jesus. No more Let's go. I'm on my way to better Those days. Those things, please follow me. Status is changing. The Lord is bringing me to a new dimension. I'm on my way to better I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to better I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord wants to release certain kinds of miracles right now. Who are all these people following me, please? Hold on. The Lord wants to release fruitfulness. Please be sensitive, everybody, inside and outside. He's using children as a point of contact, but this will affect every other area's life. Every other body's... Um, how many years? Six. Six years. Your sister, yes. where is she? She's in Zara. How about you? 11 years. Oh my God. My auntie. 11 years. Ah. Why didn't they come for the miracle service? She's in Abuja. No, 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 no. Please. Don't, don't just come out carelessly. Please. Please. Okay. Come out. The Lord is asking me to let you come out. Please. I'm going to pray for the sick, but barrenness issue. Let's deal with it right now. Tonight, I want God to step into people's lives. I think you should honor what Jesus is doing in this place. Look at the number of issues.
believe me when I tell you there will be testimonies if you are standing here for yourself just move this way if you are standing for yourself move this way please so that I know please just move here I will worship him forever love him forever because this is God is to please this way just let there be a separation my my brothers and sisters please see how many people the devil is tying down the Lord is bringing you into an anointing it's a healing anointing that is coming on you I see an angel of the Lord pouring like oil upon your head you you looking at me something is being activated in your spirit man step into that oil that fountain is that healing anointing koinonia please i want you to know that this is a platform that god has created to wipe the tears of men as we gather there every week god is doing something please be patient with god tonight and let him do something in your life because i have to pray for the sick I'm only going to lay hands on those who are standing here for themselves because I want them to return with the testimony. But for all of us who are connecting for other people, you, lift your hands. You, out! Right now! Right now! It's a curse upon the family. You are going by the spirit of the living God. Right now, you are a devil of darkness. I see you in the spirit and there must be that release right now. Please, those of us here, talk to the Lord on behalf of your loved ones and say, Lord, you must change your story. You must change your story. Those of us here, I'm going to lay hands on you by you. Please pray. Thank you, Jesus. All right, lift your hands, everyone, here. This category, just lift your hands, please. For time's sake, I may not be able to lay hands on you, but I want you to believe. Something is happening to you that is happening to your loved ones. You need to call them and believe. Many of you are receiving for your loved ones. My goodness, I hear the cry of children. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Receive it for your loved ones. Receive it right now. I open wombs. I open wombs. I open wombs. In the name of Jesus, I open wombs. I command a remembrance. A remembrance right now. In the name of Jesus right here we declare miracle children for your loved ones miracle children they take in right now and nine months after now they give birth to their children in the name of jesus hallelujah please go back to your seat god bless you god bless you those who are standing here i'm going to pray for you please make sure you are married if you are not married please don't embarrass yourself go back to your seat praise the lord let me pray for those who are standing for themselves. We have to pray. That's why you came. Hallelujah. Remember the testimony that God gave a woman who had been barren for eight years. How many years? Eight solid years. And God gave her triplets. They are still alive till today. Triplets. Triplets. Please, I want you to believe God. If you are standing husband and wife, no problem. You are standing for your wife, no problem. Just make sure you are married. That's the only thing we are saying. I'm going to pray for you. Stretch your hands over them and pray because we will release fruitfulness right now. In the name of Jesus. I don't care what the problem is. Jesus is stepping in. My confidence. The source of my strength. You. The strength of my life. You. My hope and my joy. You. Hey, my confidence. You. Looked around and I suddenly realized That you've been so good to me Your mercy is everlasting 
I tell you, celebrate God because this will end. Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call when I call you? Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call? The source of my strength, the strength of my life. My open, my joy, yeah, my confidence, the source of my strength, the strength of my life, my open, my joy, my confidence, yeah, I Madam, go and return back with your child. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let this womb be open. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, you are coming back with a testimony. What is there has been removed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord wipes your tears right now in the name of Jesus. Where is your husband? Sir, please stand near your wife. There's a reason why the Lord is asking. Can you hold her hand? Hold on. I don't care what the doctors say. You are returning with your testimony. The Lord is giving you a baby girl and then a baby boy. I know you want a boy, but God is giving you a baby girl first and then a boy in the name of Jesus. Make sure you come and testify. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, a miracle. A miracle. But there are still three more cases we'll deal with very fast we'll pray for this just for one minute and then I'll begin to prophesy there are people who have not yet received what they came for here please just be patient with us please this is a miracle service right so that we can justify our coming please let's rise we'll just do this in one minute I'd like you to believe stretch your hands here right now stretch your hands in one minute and let's pray in the name of Jesus Christ stretch your hands towards the prayer request and let's pray prophesy over it your request is here Lord we turn it into a testimony please make sure those outside their requests are here too if they are here to collect your request just wave it inside and outside and somebody will come and attend to you are you praying prophesy father this must become a testimony in my life. This must become a testimony in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you answer prayers in this place. Let there be miracles, oh God. Let there be breakthroughs, oh God. Supernatural miracles. By the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of the Holy Spirit, miracles upon miracles, miracles, visit everyone, visit issues of concern in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 
I prophesy over this request in the name that is above all names. That every request represented here, no matter how impossible it is, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let every dead situation here come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, my God, we sang that you are not a man. Turn every captivity here. Turn every captivity here. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want to prophesy to us. Please lift your hands. Um, you don't have to bring them out. It will be... Just give me 10 more minutes, but it's going to be extensive prophecy. Extensive prophecy. I want to speak to you because... I know the things that I see things in the spirit that have not yet been received we have to pray in the name of Jesus please I want you to believe God and lift your hands lift your hands hallelujah the Lord is starting off with direction there are people here who came praying Lord what is the next step of my destiny wherever you are I'm prophesying to you as I speak fire will come upon you just on your head some of you will start feeling fiery sensations on your ears. The Lord is bringing direction right now. I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Right now. Right now. Supernatural direction. Help that guy. In the name of Jesus. Every confusion in your life. Those outside, make sure you participate. Someone is asking, oh God. What is the next step? I pray by this anointing, receive direction right now. Receive direction right now. In the name of Jesus. Someone's marital destiny is under siege. Right now, in the name that is above all names. An anointing, a yoke breaker anointing. I prophesy, receive it right now. I open those doors right now. Inside, outside. I open those doors right now. Hallelujah. There's someone praying. You are asking God for money for rent. Rent. The Lord is telling me that between now and Monday morning, there is a miracle coming for you. There is a miracle coming for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are ladies who have, even guys, this spell of disfavor. Please listen. In the name of Jesus, you will literally feel like something being wiped out of your face. I see many people being affected by this. Lord, where are they? That mark of disfavor by this anointing right now right now i break that mark right now inside outside in the name of jesus i tear of that mark that mark of disfavor that embargo of bad luck upon your life that makes things not to work i come against it in the name of jesus hallelujah Listen, you have come to the end of your road. And if God does not step in, there will not be any way out. I pray for you. That door closed over your destiny that will not allow you to move to the next level. I stand under this anointing in this miracle service and I prophesy. I command that door to open right now. Oh, come on, believe it, believe it. I command that door to open. Shakatata. Deke poroso bariata. I command that door to open. Swing open. In the name of Jesus. Whatever has been earmarked from heaven to enter your hand and is yet to enter your hand, please stretch your hands towards me. Shalakataya. In the name that is above all names. I stretch my hands back. Receive it right now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it right now. Everything 
that must enter your hand inside and outside i command it from the realm of the spirit i deliver it to your hands in the name of jesus hallelujah everything that has refused to grow in your hand ideas businesses please listen everything that has refused to grow in the name that is above all names return and cause it to grow return and cause it to grow i command that business grow i command your family grow i command your finances grow i command your ministry grow hallelujah i pray for you you hear me pray this all the time because i've seen what it can do in the life of a man where are your destiny helpers if there is one prayer you must receive in this place listen god can use men to help a man and in one day god can bring the right people to wipe your tears lift your hands in the name of jesus the son of the living god where you have struggled and struggled with no hope of help as you lift your hands let an anointing from heaven land upon your life and call help us right now right now right now i release that anointing upon you for help for help for help for help take it receive it the anointing listen all you need in your life one person can just tell you do a b c or i know a who can do b for you and it can open you up to a whole new world one more time i pray i call them from the north the south if they are in zaria here we call them if they are in kaduna state we call them any part of nigeria receive their ministry now receive their ministry now whoever has vowed to destroy your life i'm praying oh this is judgment in the name that is above all names if there is any human entity standing i declare let this night be a night of judgment let this night be a night of judgment let this night be a night of judgment listen when pharaoh refused to allow egypt israel go god took his firstborn whatever must be taken from your enemy to let you go we take it tonight in the name of jesus hear me let me tell you the truth there are men that hold the destinies of people low i teach you principles of success but i'm spiritual enough to know a man's destiny can be kept at a standstill whoever kept your destiny at a standstill in the name that is above all names i put an anointing upon you go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward in the name of jesus go forward I prophesy in your career go forward in every area of your life Hallelujah. let me speak over our finances you see what is happening around the nation father we believe in the power to prosper and we believe in favor ah there is such a thing my brother and my sister call favor lift your hands my god and my king that anointing for favor that was on joseph that anointing that made five loaves and two fish to feed five thousand people wherever you are may that anointing come on your life right now 
is coming on people may that anointing come upon you it comes upon you right now hallelujah some of us are moving but our pace is too slow that's the truth we need acceleration we are moving but your pace is too slow there are things you should do in two weeks not three years there are things you should do in one day i'm praying for you the bible says and the hand of god came upon elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of ahab down to jezreel the anointing that must come upon you that between now and next month miracle service what has not happened from when koinonia started may the god that i serve release it into your life i command speed 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 i prophesy it speed hallelujah all those writing jam lift your hands it's time for you to move forward if you are not writing you can stand in for somebody maybe your loved ones or whatever in the name of jesus the bible says and when they were tested in all matters of wisdom hear me daniel was found 10 times better that 10 times better unction as you write your jam may the angel of wisdom cause you to pass this jam in the name of jesus there are people who suffer and read and sit there in front of that computer and don't know what to do you will know what to do in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm led to pray for those in final year i don't know why but the holy spirit is speaking to me we need to release you there are things that have come up some of us physically speaking is obvious there is trouble where is that god who can correct a man's mistake i pray for you in the name that is above all names you will graduate this year i said you will graduate this year i don't know how it will happen but you must graduate this year hallelujah the secret receive this two more and we're done the secret the ideas the strategy you need for the next level of your life i'm praying for you please lift your hands there will be a strong impartation god is releasing anointings for creativity some of you it will come upon you you will not know why but when you sleep you will see it in dreams my god i'm praying i see this thing falling on at least 40 people in the name that is above all names that anointing for creativity receive it right now right now right now right now an impartation an impartation an impartation an impartation inside outside inside outside take it take it take it creativity ideas i send them from the spirit concept right now right now business ideas career ideas hallelujah now i'm going to pray the last prayer breakthrough you don't know what breakthrough is some of you let me tell you what breakthrough is breakthrough is when the barrier standing between you and the next level is not lifted destroyed if it's lifted it can appear in your future please listen some of us what you need is breakthrough you don't even know the name of the situation you are in but i pray at the count of three i want everybody to just shout breakthrough as loud as you can and something remarkable will happen i'm seeing rain falling that's what i'm saying father this is the instruction you gave me as we shout hey, yeah, 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 yeah. somebody's husband husband somebody's husband is receiving breakthrough somebody's husband husband at the count of three one 
two, three. Yes, Lord, receive it, receive it, receive it. Malakata Baba. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. I smash those barriers. Breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Breakthrough. I mark you with an anointing that anywhere they see you, they will be compelled to bless you. Listen to what I'm saying. I mark you with an unction. I mark you with a mystery. And I command that anywhere they see you, may they bless you. Anywhere you enter, may this anointing force men to bless you. Anywhere you travel to, may this anointing distinguish you. Isaac blessed his son and said, the smell of my son is like the field. Brothers and sisters, hear me. There is a fragrance that can come upon a man that will force men to bless you anyhow. I don't know who must appear to bless you, but I'm saying it again. In the name of Jesus, I mark you with a mystery that forces men to bless you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for lifting. 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 My. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life. That even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain be.